Tomás. You got a new car. Uh, come to this side, it's not. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Thursday Night Throwdown. We're back. And I believe we have some guests tonight. The one, the only, ooh, it looks like a, uh, a Valhalla um, invasion tonight. Yes. It's more than looks like we got uh, bourbon from Valhalla Podcast and uh, the great Matt E. Northman. What's up, Northman? Oh, I can't hear you at all. <coughs> Goober, I can't hear you at all either. I am here. Can oh, you hear me now? There he is. <laughs> uh, Matt, you're a little here. soft. I shall turn up That's the game. Supposed to be touching them. Either that or I can turn you up from here too. Well, you're already up 118 percent. Now that's high. Well, on Discord anyway. <clears throat> well, as you all know, we are going to be doing some aerospace testing tonight. Fair on fair action. Yes, you don't. That's what we're doing. So. Just uh, giving y'all a heads up that uh, we might get some rules wrong. <laughs> Everything is going to go right. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, everyone in the, ch is, uh, in the chat, if you can uh, let me know if Northman's coming through uh, good enough. Yeah, um, tell me, please. Don't... Uh, don't be afraid of the, <clears throat> of the stuff. So let's, let's go here. And we're going to be a little uh, skimpy tonight on the lists. I'm just going to throw the, the image up there. You go to Adepticon and you just lose all, all, <laughs> all your planning. <laughs> Better now? Better now? You're still quiet to me, but that could be just me. It might be just you. It, it, I up it's probably just me, so. I, uh, I'm not too worried about it. I posted my. Uh, I turned her up all the way, so I don't know. Okay. Posted well, my, uh, somebody in the chat will have to my currency tell me that I can. I'm going old and I can't hear, so. I like it. I, uh, Which is. I put some more color on it. Very awesome. Before I came out here, so. Nice. I really like that red rum. Alright, let's uh, see what I use if this will work for the cockpit. If you haven't seen it, I don't know if you guys can see the list Ravenclaw there, but up, so. there's what well, we're running tonight, and maybe you guys can run down a list of what you have there. I thought uh, I lost this. I forgot that I stuffed it in here. In fact, I could probably just do <clears> this. <throat> it fits perfect. Yeah, let's go with Matt's it's list. Real nice. There we go. We'll go with Matt's list right now. I'll switch over. I'll let you guys take over. I gotta go get a beer. <laughs> Could not find live. I'm going to roll a restart and see if that helps. Took me a while to find this slider. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, so. Yeah. 
What do we got going on here? I'll let you listen in. Yeah, but we got By the way, bear on bear crime, mind. right? So everybody's running ghost nice. bears tonight. Yeah. I don't um, know what's going on, man. It's looking like we got some Kingfisher, right. Fire Falcon, and a Vulture, a Dasher, mm -hmm. uh, and a and Vulture. Got some flack, so we're uh, prepping for what somebody's bringing to the sky. Yeah. That Kurgig is just just mean. It looks Looking. gross. Yeah, 13, 10, and 6. So, depending on whether it's striking or strengthen, there's going to be some 13 or 10, 10 rolls. I'm going to bond a 3. Yeah, be interesting, just, that's for sure. Wondering how long this dasher is going to last out there with. With all them bombs flying around the world. <laughs> <laughs> bombs flying around the other Big Macs that, you know, Matt's bringing. Because that's Coach's list right there. Yeah. This will be interesting for sure. Yeah. What's going on, boys? Andrew. I'm watching. Oh. Matt is on a restart. That's some computer difficulties, but I'm just kind of looking at this. No. How's this? Uh, how's this shaping up? This is it's a standard coach production, you know. That's fair. Yeah, yeah Abel's not here, so there's no adult supervision. <laughs> I think we're getting a preview of some of that sexy new hex tech terrain tonight, if I'm not mistaken, in the upper right hand corner there. And, uh, some of the new fancy yeah. buildings. Yeah, those look pretty slick. So, question for you guys. We were having a, Ed brought this up and I kind of backed him up. What how, how, is, no. how do you guys count, how do you guys calculate your two hit number? Do you follow the Sator or do you do it differently? I do it differently, I know I do. I do. I do. Yeah, I do my skill. I always start with my skill. Then I do range. Then I do TMM. Then I do all the extra pieces. Weird. Yeah. Okay. That's odd. That's about what I do. Some I, I've always done, like from my classic days, was just like before Sator was even a thing, you know. Oh, so, okay. I always start with my mech, Check this out. move to the other mech, move to the target, and then add everything else there. Yeah, that's roughly ditto for me, too, I think. Although, I'd probably say I'd do it different every time. At least I always start with skill. Beyond that, who the fuck knows? I will take... Because the way I teach it is you start with your skill... And then you work through your mech, right? Did I stand still? Did I jump? Right. Do I have fire right. control? Did I, you know, do I have heat, right? Then I'm at my feet. Right? Yep. Yeah. Then I go to range. And as I do range, I hit terrain. And I add TMM at the, at the last. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with Jeff. I, I have a base, but it never stays the same so it's it's usually my skill range terrain whatever tmm and then i either deduct or add whatever heat or standstills or anything yep, I'm in the same or boat. like you do it depending on the the day of the week can you guys hear me yeah okay i'm just making sure coach didn't screw it up <laughs> even to tommy how y'all doing? Pretty good. Yourself? Doing pretty good. Um, I saw a coach's list pop up. Were we, did we want to pop up uh, Matt's list? Let uh, the folks take a look at that. Let's see here. Coach that would be... There. We aren't live already, are we? Yes. Oh, we've been live, baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Andrew, we're already yeah, way to ruin the show already. Andrew. Uh, 
<laughs> I, just show up, I just show up and wreck it. So there you go. You guys, just, just, you, guys, you guys should just see me when I pop in. Just immediately eject me. <laughs> yeah, coach. Coach just started running it, so we're like, "All right, here we go." <laughs> Fair. All right. We should have a uh, a little button Aaron, that says, "Hey, we're live." Hanging over the Discord. <laughs> oh man. Blends right in, right? <clears throat> That's good. I like that. Good <laughs> thing Diablo's not here. He'd be talking about contrast on the board. Oh, no yeah. Kidding. Nothing. They look like little black dots. Can't see the max. Can't see the terrain. Where are your chips? Well, since it's still fair on right. fair, it's, uh, so, we're definitely going to have a hard time seeing units. So. That's I just want need. the over under on with all the flank out doesn't there. No matter what list I pick, it's it's always dark. Lists and map are just terrible. How yeah. fast are these fighters going to drop? Map, terrible. Map. Aw, I don't know. <laughs> Same thing. Looking at the lists that everybody brings. I think they're going to drop pretty quick. Too. Everybody has flak. Yeah, there's at least like five to eight flak on each side. That I think from what I saw, it's going to be interesting. Who's, who's I mean, that King Fisher F is no slouch when it comes to flak. Who's going to be daring? And try yeah, to he's got like flak five. Uh, I think he's a flak two, 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 maybe. One of the best units in the game is that Avatar J. Flak four four. Oh yeah, yeah. the Kingfisher is flak two. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, he's got a vulture E. He's flak three. Right. Yeah. That's three four four battlefields four. No. <laughs> what? We're not doing battlefields four yet. Oh, Matt's running that Marauder two C. That's got flak five. That's what it was. The big hog. The Marauder two C four with the hags. No, oh, that's gross. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Black five, 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 five. I see a Hutchinson on the side. So I'm guessing he, uh, I know. he has that nice Hutchinson that probably has the uh, three, two, two. I'm thinking. All right. Now that uh, now that the good guy is here, I think I'm going to drop off and let you guys have at it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, thanks for thanks for popping in, Andrew. Did hey, I... you guys have a wonderful evening. Well. You too, sir. Later, guys. Denier. Denar? Denier. Denier. Okay, can you guys hear me better? Yeah, man. Sounds great. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, man, neither do we. Fair enough. <laughs> oh. You go and take a hammer to those as well. Hmm. No, they're solid. <clears throat> Come on. I don't know where I want to put this. Um. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep them linear here. Doing a little test for everyone in the chat to respond to me and tell me if you can hear me. Thank you, Chris. How do I see the chat? I don't know why this is not. Oh, shit. That's not where I want. Yeah, we're getting a few yeses, so you should be good, Matt. Yay. Notice Matt's logo on the YouTube is now uh, Raven Alliance. I didn't know he swapped. 
<laughs> Matt, you running Reaver Alliance? Both. Ross Log Dominions. Matt has a Raven Alliance logo. Oh, damn it. Why? Cause Coach because <laughs> I forgot to change your logo. You're good, Matt. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah you might have had that seconds. last time. Denier. 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 There. How's that? Old school. Nice. Okay. We're set. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Okay. All right. So. Let's give it a shot. Get the Lead us out, Ben. Three. Well, we're going to start off with the dumbass yeah. questions. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about this aerospace thing. Hey, now remember, aerospace deployed. <laughs> the last time I... Everyone, all ground units are deployed. Okay. I think the last time I touched aerospace was under Aerotech 2, the box set from like 1990-something. So. Right on the side, battle space. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I'm a little rusty. Um. All right, so I just heard Coach say that they deploy after everything else. You have yeah, one, and they two, move three, after four, everything five, else six, as well. One, two, three, four, five. Interesting. Two, three, they have their own little movement phase, I believe. Yeah, that's one thing I'm a little fuzzy on is like they do their move and then they'll do a, a, a pass, then have to set like a turnaround zone on by the end of it too or something don't they yeah so they've got a well yeah i'm still reading into it but i think you just you can either turn around where you're at when you go off the board or you can move it somewhere else along that same edge is what it seems like to me and just let everybody know in the chat we don't know what we're doing <laughs> we're learning with them yeah <laughs> This is a mutual learning experience. Yes. You got the book here? All right, let me pull up the Yeah. Okay. We better get the book. Uh, where's your book? I know it's page what? like I believe 187 or 183. 183. 183. Yeah, it says after the first turn, the aerospace miniature can be shifted from the end of the previous turn's flight path. It may start its flight path exactly at its endpoint from the previous turn, or it may shift its miniature along the edge in either direction up to a number of inches equal to its thrust. So basically your thrust, it kind of increases your maneuverability kind of where you're starting. Okay, so its turnaround point is up to its thrust on left or right of where it ended its flight path off the board. Correct. Okay. Can they fight other aerospace okay. fighters? Yes. You were supposed to. Like, yes. Okay. Yes, but I don't know if they're doing that because it's its own. There's kind of that separation between air to ground and air to air. It's kind of completely separate. Well, I don't. I definitely don't want to get hit with this uh, Urgiz at short range. That's for sure. No, that thing's gross. Good grief. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like with aerospace, if you descend to air to ground attacks, you can only do air to ground. If you do air to air, that's a whole separate. Well, just remember, like you're doing a up high thing. in the sky. Yeah. Yeah, it would be non non table gaming impacting, right? From at least yeah. the, the ground forces, anyway. So I'm imagining uh, any attacks to aerospace will be just from ground units. Then at this point, I believe so. That's a good question, Dave. Get, uh, Can an aerospace control an out? Will they be allowed to land their aerospace fighter on the map? I, doubt that. I don't believe they can. 
from what I'm seeing, you have to go the whole flight path, which is from one edge to another. So there's no way to land it, at least with the movement ground rules. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, the rules that, as it's written here in the aerospace section of the Commander's Edition, doesn't give any like landing, per se. Yeah, and your flight path has to be minimum 24 inches too, from what I'm seeing. Like they can't just take a short 12, 18 inch line. There has to be a minimum of 24 inches. Correct. Yeah. So basically, you move it to one edge, then you're gonna move it, you know, from side to side with your thrust then whatever place it's facing has to be at least 24 inches of kind of map space to the other edge. And then you go all the way across the edge. There are some attacks that only go for a, a particular 10 inches, like the strafing attack. There are others that you just choose to attack one along the whole flight path, which is the striking attack. Others as well, but it, you kind of got to go all the way across from one edge to another, as far as I'm seeing it. Looks like Kestrel just jumped in. Air to air is just adding the difference in altitude range. Okay. Aerospace are always on the map and AS. Okay. So apparently we could have air to air, according to Kestrel, which he's the man. Best. Yeah. yeah. He's the guy. So we should just get him over here and I'll just log off. <laughs> <laughs> that man a microphone. <laughs> Well, it looks like in these lists, they definitely have two different aerospace um, okay. fighters here. These are not the same, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, one went a little thick and nasty, and the other one went with kind of nimbly bimbly. Yeah. Does it matter what elevation? Uh, yes. You have to declare low, middle, high, or extreme uh, from flight height. Yeah. I remember right. And I think they would stay on the edge of the map, not start two inches in, but I guess it doesn't matter too much, really. Yeah. One is low, two is middle, three is high. You want to use the blue dice for uh, elevation? My guy is going to start at... You guys hear that? Um, can you guys hear me? Let's go one. I'm gonna go low. Am I mute? I mean, I can hear you. We can hear you, Tommy. Yep. Okay. You're high. Um, I hope I low. Uh, low seems like a bad idea. Low and slow, baby. Low and slow. Low will get you killed. If you're low and you get knocked down, I'm gonna change mine in the middle. You're dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm going low. <laughs> Let's, I want to roll that fistful of dice. Let's see what happens. All right. I'm curious to see how that works. There's an 11. That's better. God dang it. <laughs> Tied on 11s. How come your dice Seven. don't have pairs on them? Eight. Come on. Oh, I'm going to go straight dice. Let the initiative okay. begin. <laughs> so i got to move again. Just, huh? needs, like, just needs some more Valhalla Club dice. Yeah. That's what Coach mm -hmm. needs. Looks like Coach is starting his uh, okay. ears again up <laughs> low. He wants to roll them 13 dice. <laughs> Oof. Wants to blow yeah. something up. Yeah, I like it. I like the gusto. Mm -hmm. All right, so the way I'm reading this, yeah. no, you got it. so I have to be assigned an altitude, yeah, correct? Okay. Yeah, you yep. got to choose it. Did you say that already? And I just blanked out. You're good. <laughs> so that's also the range from ground to air, correct? Correct. Yep. All right. I got gotcha. you. At least from what I'm getting. I reserve the right to get everything wrong, I say, tonight. <laughs> I think we're all using that, right? For sure. sure. Right. <laughs> so not, down the stream, so we'll just ask him and have him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. <laughs> Please help us. So you got low, which is where you can only strafe at. Correct. Strafing can only be performed at low altitude. Otherwise, yeah. it's 
strike and then altitude or dive bomb. You know what? I don't think these deploy. Okay. I think they come on after our movement phase. Okay. Now that I'm reading so that. So you correctly. have strike. Okay. Kestrel's just going to let us stumble around. Dude, he, hey, I'm, I'm with him. He wants to, uh, he wants to uh, see how other okay. people are interpreting <laughs> this thing, which is, which is a good way to kind of test out your system. Sure. Airspace movement takes place after all ground I apologize. I hit the wrong button. Interesting. All right. All right. Because uh, hey, when I read, go for it. I was, I was just going to say, Ham had a, a question about if both sides need to use Fire. aerospace or can only one team use it. See, I read this thing five uh, times and I still got the first thing wrong. I think it was open for both of them to use it, but I think, you know, they don't have to. But since they're testing out aerospace, I think they both chose to bring at least one. one. Yeah. But they were going to max it at two, right? No more than Correct. two. Correct. Yeah. No yep. more than yeah. Two. Which with domination, yeah. You'd be hamstringing yourself. So I'm wondering too. So just being a a, a rules weirdo, you can place an aerospace fighter at extreme range, and most of them have extreme range attacks. But most ground forces don't have extreme range. You can't attack at extreme range. I believe the rules said. We are not Joe playing says, extreme. extreme. Yeah, it says because it's an optional rule to use extreme unless that's being used, air to ground attacks cannot be made at extreme range. Hmm. Okay. Which would be a little bit, you know, at least kind of fair to the ground units, because at least then everything's long <laughs> and shorter from an engagement. Yeah, they already have now to fight off VTOLs, for... so. My mouse privileges have been taken away. Uh-oh. <laughs> you were messing around with a cigar, I was going to change it. No, no, you are. I uh, accidentally put it to one of the uh, ads already, so. <laughs> oh, jeez. Perfect. <laughs> I was like, oops. This That's why great. I said I was like, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I was trying to get the uh, dice box. I didn't know which one of the dice boxes. As you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, I do not run the the machine as as well. Oh the machine. Oh, it looks like a nice custom you got there, friends. Well, I think as, as commentators, we have to call who we believe will win the day before things really start to get heavy. So hey. what do you think, Ben? Um, just look at the list, you know, I mean. You know, I used to ask myself a lot all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and who's playing too, so <sighs> list-wise. <laughs> I mean, I'm always a big fan of a Kodiak and a Kingfisher. Mm. Yes. Pretty, pretty uh, hefty there. Yeah, it's pretty hefty. Um, so Coach has got a little bit of weight on his side. However, yeah, that mean fighter as well, too. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that looks nasty. But it's also Coach playing it, so I'm gonna go with one path. <laughs> You're going with Matt. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Goober? You know, I I agree. I, I like the power that Coach is bringing, but what I think is probably going to pull it um, on Matt's side is he's got a few more units uh -huh. on the table, and he's got that high flat that I think, you know, if he can take Coach's fighter out right away, it's really going to go in his favor. So I'm leaning towards Matt. No, I I, I'm, I'm liking his anti-aerospace kind of setup. Yeah, and, and uh, Coach poured so many points into that aerospace to, to get the big blaster. That I, I kind of agree. I'm going to say it sends up 3-2 for Matt. Yeah, I mean, that's 86 points on that that fighter of coaches that's a that's a lot and that's at skill three where matt's got his at two so it can be interesting of dice yeah, I mean, if, it, skill. if it hits something it's it's oh. gone but yeah. want, if it gets taken out it. yeah, yeah i want to see this strafe go, go through this 13 dice strafe oh 
I'm, I'm going to be rooting for him. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I want to see 13 dice. Well, 26 dice, right? Go flying. That's right. Well, you got to remember if you have, is it a E and E? Cause it only oh, because he'll get half, right? He'll get half to each target in the strafe run. Cause if it's not oh, because of the special? Yeah, because yeah, if it's not energy, you only roll half the dice um, right. to the targets in the strafe. Yep. Ooh, man. Mm, I wonder if that... there's a energy variant. Maybe a bad choice in variants if he was going for strafe numbers. Thanks, but he could strike at 13. Yeah, so that's if he wants a unit gone... It's gone. Yeah. Right? yeah it's oh, it's oh, 13. Asher? Yeah. 33. Okay. Yeah, there's not much that could really, I think, take thir 13 Ooh. attack pairs and drug anything off. Why would I do that? Maybe I can take one of your guys with me. Too. Dude, How do you guys um, like the uh, the new hex tech there? You, Looking pretty good. Okay. I think That's it's nice. amazing. Dude, we're, um, I, they were showing off some of the stuff coming in Adepticon, some of the new like terrain, like uh, okay. the trees okay. and a few other buildings and stuff like that. Looks really good. I'm pretty pumped for what's coming out too as well. Yeah, I saw his uh, his message after he got back oh, from Adepticon. He's, they, they definitely have a lot of plans, that's for sure. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, for what it is compared to like when I was looking at buildings, you know, when I was a lot younger where you're paying 50, 60, 70 bucks for, you know, for semi-decent buildings, yeah. this stuff being painted, I mean, it's still, I think, really reasonable as well. I, I think it's really cool that they're, you know, this new stuff comes out with, it's all magnetized. So you can kind of flip yeah. things around and really, really yeah. you have more freedom to play around with it on your own. Yeah, a lot of, I think, really well thought out designs um and aesthetically pleasing it well as well too so yeah great job I mean, on those guys. all i'll say is that thunderheads from colorado as well so you know something yeah. about that you know mountain region putting <laughs> things together getting yeah. something in the water right the beer, <laughs> something <I mean. laughs> good set all right do i have you know i saw his his renders he had for the the apartment complex yeah set holy smokes that looks amazing so yeah i love like the crushed bits and stuff oh yeah yeah it looks so good so i gotta put my bad boy on i will say the adepticon um i don't think anybody chose anything super fast like that but i played against a gentleman at adepticon with domination and he brought that one locust that moves 36 naturally oh geez um, and he almost grabbed four Spot turn one because he had a 20 inch jumping spider, too. I was like, That's some bitch. <laughs> That's I did literally shooting everything. <laughs> no, I did. I, I rolled every. I was like, Well, I got to do it, otherwise, I lose. So I made sure I annihilated him. But <laughs> man, that was an attention getter for sure. For sure. Now, do you guys see anything that relates um, the aerospace kind of short, you know? short, medium, long, extreme to inches. For in, and, and I'm asking because we've got like this terrain. What if you have terrain that's like oh, that's a, six inches tall? So, is that short or is that medium or? So short range is six yeah, inches, um, yeah. like low altitude. Yeah, so low altitude is six inches. So I guess. So you can't, you can't do this. Six inches, that would be, be right? That's six inches three, high. Inches, yeah. They yep. have to, so then we have to kind of look at buildings to, then. They have to fly that would be interesting. The you, that's, you, they can go further. Can you long dart them, a plane into a side of a building? Well, that's what I was wondering is this like, yeah. do they have to take that into account if it's no. like seven I inches tall? So. Can they go through medium on it? You know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we have any terrain that's six inches tall, but that one is close probably, right? That, um, that pier bridge building. Yeah, and maybe with that stuff up in the other, but we're probably at like four or five inches. So, so yeah, yeah there, there, and I know a few of the trains I've seen at the tournaments. There is some taller stuff, so I'm sure that'll come into play. So, Kestrel says that altitude is always over the terrain, so it doesn't count. Okay, okay. So it'd be six inches above any terrain they're going over as well. Yeah, so it's like it, okay. it doesn't really, it's just kind oh, of qualitative, not actual quantitative. Uh, 
it would no, be funny to watch somebody crash on the side of a building though. Hold us <laughs> that would be great. You're traveling. It would be interesting. Time. But yeah. Screwed up your deployment. It's just whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have Nikestral. Yeah, travel on this chat. line. No. Oh wait, there's a building in that line. Yeah, you'd have to really think about yeah your attack line, Ooh, right? That oh, would man. that would make so like the you know the initial uh, placement <laughs> of tracking like <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so that that would be something for for players that you'd have to think about because the altitude is more abstract than a straight line measurement from the bottom of the board to the bottom of the unit to wherever you know. Yeah. So that short, medium, long range stuff. You're at high. It's okay. more abstracted. Um, yeah, it is yeah. abstracted. I go yeah. first. Well, like yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Low altitude isn't just um, six inches. Yeah. What okay. That makes that sense. Makes, that makes sense. Yeah. I am carrying uh, high explosives. I'm carrying. As a first timer, reading explosives. this. Yeah. Plus oh, I get it. You yeah, know, yeah where it says altitude of low, it says plus six inches. Middle is plus twelve, so it's whatever yeah, height of terrain okay. plus six. Okay, I read that different. Yeah. High explosives. Did you guys hear that? See, Kestrel, this is why we're here. What was the next thing? Okay. Firing. Chad, did you hear that? So, no. Barons has one of each of the types of rounds, and Coach has all HE rounds. They're declaring that. Ooh. If they don't declare it, they have nothing. No bombs. no bombs. Yeah, you have to declare which bombs you have. Yep. Correct. Because that is in the rules. And I was going to see if Coach would not would not Ooh. remember that. Otherwise, hold on. I remind him. So Matt to took uh, bloodbath. Took one altitude. of each yes. of the three bombs, yeah, and then okay. Coach yeah. took just mm -hmm. HE. Correct. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do I want to shoot him? Fire away. Because or... cluster is uh, one point of damage, but it has a six inch. Template. Template, yep. And then HE is two points of damage and a two inch. Well, template. let's get this out of the way. I am yeah, kind of like a normal artillery round. Yep. Okay. And then uh, uh, Inferno is. Do it now. Like well, I want to strafe or do I want to just strafe? With you better figure eight. that out. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that strafe. Inferno sounds nasty. Just, what, yeah. You can't strafe past yeah. what? Something? I'm going to strafe that. That'd be like. So uh, anything within that 10 oh, inch. Okay. I roll on. So just those two. Check, check. Inferno. Um, Does it go to both or one? It goes to both. So I divide my damage in two. So 13 rounded down. So I'll roll six sets of dice on each one. Wait, so what, a, uh, if you know, Goober, what do the any. different uh, bomb right. types yeah. do? What's different between them? Um, HE does two points of damage to a so two-inch template. So kind of like a, a, an arrow guys. four round at the table, I've like the normal three. artillery. Um, cluster does one point of damage, but to a six inch template. Oh. So kind of like if a long Tom hit or something like that. Oh, man. Um, plus three? Oh, yeah. And in Inferno is a two inch template well, again, but it's their, two points yeah, of heat, which I think would be really yeah, interesting yeah, against vehicles and infantry because oh, they're yeah. doing so what? double damage. Yeah. Those yeah. vehicles would disappear. Yeah. Well, and then just adding two points of heat in a in an AOE is nasty too. Yeah. So I have a skill of three. I'm at low, which is So we're zero. walking through the attacks. Uh, Looks like coach is doing a strafe. Hit. So this is going to go to the Marauder 2C. Looks like he's strafing the Marauder. There's a miss. Hit. Two misses. So he takes uh, four damage. One, two, three, four. Oh, and I got a natural in there. You lucky he's rolling that half yeah. amount of dice because he's strafing. He doesn't uh, have energy. One, two, so it's still three, some good hits, four. it sounds like. And again, to strafe, he has to be at low. Dice yep. roll. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yep. Here's my crit. Five, nothing. Thank you. In the dirt. In the <laughs> I got six to hit on the vulture. 
One miss. You were rolling back. Faith in the vulture as well because they're within the two inch. You take, the vulture takes four. Oof. Ouch. You're, uh, you're. It's a lot oh, of damage, but let's see if his <laughs> aircraft actually survives. Um, yeah, because that's a lot of flak coming back. Yeah. The Kingfisher yeah, is going to attack your Xerxes. Yeah, it's a little interesting uh, that, um, that is Matt grouped up four. like that, knowing he came Five, in low. For, I'm surprised he didn't spread uh, just a little space. bit so he couldn't get double. You're at high, hmm. so that's a plus... Four. So That's why we're four, here. Eight, yeah. <laughs> a little change in tactics for sure, right? Eight, for sure. Nine, it's not just gang up on one dude and just blob around. Eight, you gotta right. move apart. Looks like Kingfisher shooting at the fighter. Um. Oh, be my best shot. No, one, two. I'm going to actually attack the Marauder 2C. Okay. Oh, a little bit of a shift. Okay. Um, yeah, almost with the since finisher, you don't move the, four, eight, the fighter to the end of the turn, nine, you almost need like a yardstick, a two inch yardstick for kind of range. a strafe. Yeah, that's what nine. I think would be very helpful is oh, just like a long four. yardstick to. No. Yeah. Really See what you're gonna hit across the board. Ten inches, yeah, it's only ten inches, but to at least set the line, right? Yeah, well, you can use a tape measure, at least a stiff tape measure for that. <laughs> laser, laser line or something. Laser, yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, the straight line is only ten inches. Yeah. Yeah, only ten inches. Still, that's a lot. Twenty square inches. <laughs> yeah, if you catch three units in that ten inches, that's uh. Mm. Not well, just in right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, the hopefully the nobody's running a column down the road in one of these scenarios. Good oh man, mm. this the urban oh, setting where you got no tall buildings right. and yeah. roads Three, in the middle. Got another natural crit. Oats Three. is rolling some box cars Engine. tonight. Ooh, ooh, well, could be worse. Engine. Fire control. I always yep. hate those. Yep, All those right. ones. Engine I just want to throw the mini off the board. I think uh, in one of the Escape. battles at KSAG, somebody turn one got two fire to... controls on my Atlas. And oh, I just man. was like, oh, I might as well just walk him right back off the board. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Just yeah. stand still for the rest of the game. Yeah. Shoot yeah. the gates at short, you know? Like, what the hell? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, for those of you cheater dice, hmm. Okay. Just making sure. Um, okay, skill three. Mm. It's medium range to your line, which is three, four, five. You're at high, which is a. And the bombs are like you mark them off, right? Like you've got, if you've got bomb three, you can use three bombs, but that's it for the whole scenario. Right. Or whatever. Whole right. scenario. Yep. Nice. And it looked like Coach. He he targeted the line that Matt's fighter is taking. He doesn't have to point to the fighter. It's just where the nearest intersection to his line is. So, okay. That's not my didn't right. I kind of glazed over in the rules of kind of how to target. And uh, Justy, Justy is asking if they can still attack a, after the bombing run. Like they can drop their bombs one turn and then attack the next. Or can they attack in the same turn that they drop bombs? Or how does that work? Ooh, that's a. 16, I think so they have to pick one type of attack, either so three, um, straight four, five, strike seven, or bomb. Eight, oh, that's right. Yeah, they have to choose one of them, huh? I have not yeah. Yep. Your aerospace. With flak, a three flak. And so you have to seven. you have to uh, minus your I is it your thrust or your movement thrust. for each yeah, bomb? You lose a, a th uh, uh, one thrust for each bomb you're carrying. So you're and so you get those back eight. as you release your bombs, right? As far as I understand I it, one. yeah. Oh, as far as I understand. That is all of my guys firing. And I, I put it the right way. You're you're supposed mm. to click the pitch. It's like coach whipped on the fighter. Right the pitch. To left. The pitch. Probably makes Matt happy. That means he gets another round of it at least. Yeah. Well, he took a damage. 
unless overridden by special collision, any airborne that suffered a damage during its turn, turn must make a control roll. So you want to make a control roll at the end of the phase, end of the turn. Okay. So here we go, return fire. All right. Doesn't have to be. Okay. Let's see if this flacky um, flack flackless can. Uh, the old flack attack. <laughs> well, and what's interesting too with the fighters on like VTOLs, they just get a standard plus two for being in flight. That's it. Which, if you're firing flat, gets negated. Yeah. If you die bomb, you can drop all three. On the same point. If you're altitude bombing, they they have to be spaced out, I think. I'll dive bomb. That sounds like fun. Okay. <clears throat> dive. Reset. Burn. Uh, dive bomb attacks may only be performed at units of lower or Middle altitude. Oh, uh, rules that out. Altitude bombing. Starting with the first point of impact selected, there must be one or, or must be one point of impact per two inches along the path. You could and exactly one bomb dropped at each point of impact. You could just do one bomb, right? So just, yeah, I'll just drop at each. Right. Okay. So mm. right there. It's like Matt's just going to do one altitude bomb. Skill two. Skill two. Skill two. Uh, it is an area of effect. Six inch? No, it's two inch. Two inch. Um, bombing. It's the same thing. Six uh, inches or two inches. At? High elevation. You're at high. That's what I tell her. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> So this altitude bombing can only be, as they're not playing at stream, so it can only be done at high for them. For every bomb that attacks, blah, blah, blah. May only be performed from higher extreme altitudes, altitude bombing. So I think yeah. Matt started at high, if I wasn't mistaken. There we go. Yeah, and dive can be done from lower middle. Okay, and that makes sense. But dive is a single point of impact where altitude can be scattered a bit. But all other air to ground attacks must apply these options. So is there plus zero for altitude bombing? So I think it's two plus one because it's an area of effect. Threes? Threes. I would Another agree. question I have is is how do they change their altitude? Is it just at the start or end of the end turn? Of, yeah, at the end of movement, you can um, you assign an altitude. Okay. When, there we go. Yeah, when flight when when a new flight path is placed, the unit must be assigned an altitude. So I think on the start, when they do their turnaround, they have to kind of pick where their line is and then assign themselves an altitude. What elevation? And that yeah. that still occurs after oh. the mix and all that oh. stuff move, right? Move and Correct. fire. So you're still not going to know like what options are kind of available to that aerospace unit until after every, you've already done everything. So you kind of yeah, don't know what could fighters happen. Fighters kind of always win initiative in a way, you know, compared uh, to other yeah. units. It seems like, which I think, I think is pretty powerful. It makes sense. So determine range. The range for an air-to-ground attack is based on the altitude of the aerospace unit when laying its path. A unit at meet, middle out, altitude making an air-to-ground attack is at range 12 inches medium. So you hit anyway. So. Yes. Yeah, you hit anyway. Okay, but you do have to add in distance. Still, so it would have been plus four? It would have been a plus four. So it went two plus four is six plus the one seven. for seven. You had seven as a rule to make. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tommy was Matt. Was Matt at medium? No. He was altitude. At, he was at high. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. So you never tried uh, 
Arrow tech out, Ben. <laughs> yeah, next guy. I, you know, I read the rule book, and I mean, we're talking early nineties. Um, oh, I, I think we put aerospace on the board, and then we couldn't figure it out, so we just started playing Battle <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, then. We, Red we Red did math real good and, and we were all going to the Marine Corps too so mm. we're not that bright <laughs> break out the crayons it, no way back machine I actually played more Renegade Legion Interceptor also by FASA back in the day um, more than I played you know the, the Aerotech fighters I, I don't know it was a, I always found that I think a little bit better than the early versions of Aerospace so I was a little jaded there Yeah, I think the highest I've gotten the air is the Beatles. That's that's just, that's my level. Got one. Ooh. You know, like you that. Uh, one more. And when it comes to tabletop, it's I've always been a Battletech guy, so I don't know the other games that are out there mm. for tabletop, at least. I mean, it's not a bad thing. <clears throat> true, on true. Six sets. That's... I'm reading up these air ground to air attacks. Yep. Yeah, because that's coming Eight. soon. Yeah, Matt's yeah, Matt's shooting at the mechs right now, but I'm sure his attack on well, that curve. Is... <laughs> <laughs> takes... So aerospace fighters don't get a target movement modifier right. when in. Yeah, they just get that plus two for just being airborne. Yeah. <clears throat> which then, if you're shooting flak, that gets negated. Yeah. You, uh, sure. Which is kind of nasty. So it's basically just your range and your skill. Yeah. Oof. If you're shooting flak, that's nasty. Uh, dash or dies. <clears throat> yeah, we got dead dash uh... already. Yeah, then then doing a strafe is really taking your life into your hands there. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, well, that really is think, truly rolling the dice. Go ahead, sir. Phil said it in the uh, chat. You know, it's very or no, Dave said it in the chat. High risk, high reward for that strafing stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I, really gotta... I I don't know if at this point I would say that Coach put eighty six points worth of damage onto to Matt's units. I don't know. <laughs> You'd have to at least live another turn for me to see 86 four, points out of that thing. Eight, yeah. I mean, you uh, didn't hit two mechs for four range. damage I'm each, but okay. that's only eight damage total, though. And I'm going right over you, so it's at short range. So four. four I don't even two, think you really put any six, um, either. Four. No. Yeah, yeah, just an engine, I think. One miss. Yes. One miss. Take four <laughs> Four damage. Okay, Ooh. so that does break Ooh. my threshold. Yeah, which means he's got to make sure a come the rolls. Roll. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got although he's still three. Roll. Yeah, he should be all right. Should be all right. Here's that snake eyes, right? Yeah, keep going. Catch <laughs> 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 you, man. Oh, I gotta, I gotta roll. I gotta roll a crit. Hold on. You gotta roll a crit for me. Oh boy. Ten. Uh, ten on aerospace is an engine here. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, must also roll and determine critical that? hits table if the damage from a single attack exceeds the unit's damage total. Even if the damage does not strike off any structural lines. <clears throat> so I take an engine hit. Doesn't that decrease your uh, thrust? I don't know. I just can't read it. Okay, we're going to throw some more flak. All right, engine hit. Corner movement wait, off. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. The engine hit uh, critical will reduce the unit's thrust by 25%. Okay, hang on. So I've got five flak, but i got a six point of non flak. So that would be six is a hit. Four, five, six. Yep. It's another hit. So it takes one more damage. Okay. That's from the Marauder. Okay. <clears throat> Catchy man's throwing. And I have two thrusts right now because I'm carrying three bombs. All right. That's going to be medium <laughs> range. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get rid of those bombs, man. 
or the rounded down. Oh man, coach's eighty-six looks points may be taking a turf. Looks like you should. Yeah. Uh, turf landing here. <laughs> But Dave is saying that he usually wouldn't spend more than 40 points on those units. Yeah, I think a good Stuka throwing some, you know. I do like the idea of bringing them in. I just, it's going to be interesting to think what it does, you know, if this makes it to AS350, what it does. Definitely going to need some work. Yeah, and this is, I mean, this is a little bit artificial because they both knew they were bringing aerospace, so you can really go gung-ho into that, uh, into the flak. I just say Matt's like, I mean, I think 75% of his damage is flak. It's yeah. nasty. Hey, Phil, can you guys hear me? Phil, yeah. yeah. Come on in here, Phil, and educate us. Or is it minus two? Yes, I've, I've played a lot of aerospace over the years, so... It's interesting to watch newbies okay. play it because I think they're doing things wrong. <laughs> that would not surprise me in the least. What, what have you seen so far that you would uh, you're thinking they might be doing wrong, Phil? Well, I, I think they're doing the rules right. I think tactically, though, we find that fighters are very brittle when they start strafing, and and the first thing you do your first turn is you want to drop all your bombs you want to you want to dive bomb basically um because when you're dive bombing and bombing you ignore the enemy's tmm and so so it's kind of like you're just making a attack right yeah yeah and if you dive bomb you could drop all three of your bombs let's say on the same target yeah, yeah, yeah. Go okay. over and go so I would be trying to dive bomb, let's so say, that fire falcon or it's the dasher and the right. thing but next to the dasher inches, and so doing as much damage so as possible with your bomb line, before trying to strafe. Because so then, because because the problem oh, is, if you get oh, hit when range. strafing, you have to do something called a control check. And if you or fail your control check, you lose a level of altitude. And if you're already oh, yeah, low, low, you crash. You crash. Boom. So yeah, so I that makes strafing very risky. Coming my way. Which I think Coach is finding out here. He's getting a pretty decent damage already. Bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, what? Phil, if you're not going to get the rules wrong, rules wrong. it's just strategy is uh, pretty piss poor, is like what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think they're doing the rules correct so far. It's a little hard to hear them. That's all my shooting. Okay. Or the inside on the Kyrgyz. That's pretty gross. Uh -oh. Double check yeah. what your engine. For I mean, alternatively, you can do air on air combat. So if your opponent is flying low, you could try and shoot them down. If you could basically get behind them somehow, if you basically. Yeah, it's like a minus two if you're behind them, right? Or something like that. Yeah. Well, I think when you when fighters engage each other, I think there's a I think you guys have to make a roll basically. Yeah, to see who controls. Yes. Oh, okay. Kind of your superior superiority rule. Yes. So, so that's important. So I mean, we found that you always want to have like skill two or three pilots for for aerospace. They they hit a lot easier. Skill four doesn't seem to hit a whole lot. We found out. Would you ever spend this much on an aerospace oh, unit, Phil? Hell no. no, I would. I would take yeah, two okay. planes that uh, both had bomb three, actually, because then you could uh, drop okay. six bombs on the same target. Or lose altitude. Mm. So, so I mean, nasty. We, the, there's some planes like the Hammerhead that's like 33 points that has like bomb three, but you'd have to scale that up a little bit. So yeah, I mean, I would. I would replace something that's expensive with two smaller planes. So yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. Two. Especially if so you come out, you know, like you say, dive bombing with both. Turn one. Yeah. I make that. He makes his control you roll. A, you have a four. You got to roll four better. Got it. Got it. Okay. So we're fine. I move wow. to the end Close of my lift. line. Oof. And I mean, control roll is also based on right. skill as oh, well. So another there. reason you want a better skill. Off. Yeah. Yep. And I will Same. put you right over here. You want to show the template? Everybody was looking at what the template was. Oh, can't see it right now. 
So they were they're ten inches and two inches. So you guys were talking about a template, a hard template that is Ish. a hard template, two inches by ten inches. Um, they've completed their aerospace paths. So that was all round one. <laughs> that was yeah. all round one. Thirty-six mm. minutes left to go. We we burned Oof. what half over half our time on one round. Yeah, <laughs> yeah on aerospace. Yeah, I know. We uh, interesting. There's a lot to work through. And they were always doing stuff. It's not like they were kind of chatting or not, you know, rolling dice. Book. So reading a book or something. Yeah, yeah. That's it's interesting how yeah. fast that went. Mm. Dead? He's yeah, dead. He's yeah. dead. Here you go. He'd be gone. Whack him. <clears throat> Thank you, whack him. Ish? Yeah. Yeah, damn it. I think usually between rounds, Diablo does like a commercial or sponsored oh, by. Yep, right. Right. That's, that's Tommy's job that's right Tommy. now. That's Tommy. Yep. Uh -oh. Sorry. <laughs> Just trying to help a reminder not yelling at you, Tommy. Yeah, go. Good job, Tommy. Yeah, Way to go. This brought to you by X Tech. I see a commercial on Coach's channel, but not on the stream. That that didn't show on the stream. It'll show up. It's we got a delay. A little delay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scaring me. See, I'm new to this. What's his? Hey, hey Tommy. Uh, Dave did have a good suggestion. Maybe pop an extra 15 minutes on the game just because of rule lookups and stuff. Yeah, we'll we'll add some more. Uh... Three, four structure left? There is four structure Only left. Only if Bloodbath is winning, though. Right. We'll probably end up adding more time to the game. We're going to just go until the game's done. Yeah. yeah. Two to I two. Did right from, uh, engine hit. I did hear from the Hex Hex guys that they had a Depticon on that instead of Battlefield in a box, it's battle, Battlefield Beauty in a box, is what's going to be on the list. <laughs> battlefield so Beauty, so huh? Yeah. That's what I hear. Just a rumor I heard anyway. Oh, so like a beauty yeah. school dropout. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it it yeah, know. and an unlike, you know, the, the old moniker, uh lipstick on a pig mm. does do wonders. <laughs> <laughs> uh Jesty, yes, I agree. Adepticon did the Adepticon stream did spoil us. I do miss the dice tray overlay. Yeah, that was kind of cool. As long as you didn't use green dice. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that does not do There's much. There's some Valhalla dice that couldn't get used. Damn. I, uh, I haven't been able to use Tears. That's why we gave Tommy new ones. I, I know. I haven't, I haven't got to use them yet. Two, um, two turns next row. week would be the first time I get to use them. Fine. So. I want to see all Valhalla Club dice, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> all the name dice. I'm, I'm waiting for Dave. Like we need more Charlie dice. dice. He's got an engine hit too, doesn't he? The Marauder, yes. The Marauder is an engine hit, yeah. Yeah. yeah one, one, Looks like we're tied two objectives going in, right? Just the back objectives um, for both guys? Yep, no. Yep. I believe so. Okay. That is correct. And two Coach guys. lost initiative. I mean, it is Coach, so yeah. Yeah, that's normal, right? Standard per, SOP. Yep, per standard. Coach also lost a Dasher. That he did. Is it true that John has speed on that guy? Valhalla dice? 20. Jeez. John yes. does have Valhalla dice. So, um, <laughs> he received his package last week. But it's John. But it's John. So I don't know what his stipulations are for his name dice. He may give them all to X Wing people. I don't know. He may give them all to X Wing people. There's two. <laughs> yep. right. Well, if that's the case, then I, I will never. Or his new kick, uh, what's the kill team thing that he's on? Uh, kill time, I think is his new he, one. Yeah. He, yeah. He he floats from. He's he's a he's a game butterfly. Oh, how sweet! Oh, oh, whoever's got the pretty that coach. week is where he plays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got a game butterfly. His name is Coach. <laughs> Jesse, you can take off if there's a runway on the map, but I have a feeling that there aren't any on this map. Mm. Normally, once you're down, you're down. 
Right. Yeah, I think that's what we were asking earlier about if you can land and take an objective, but I think the movement is all side uh, edge to edge, right? If not, if there's yeah. no special space right. for landing. It, it is there, there are optional rules for for landing, but mm -hmm. you need yeah, special like an advanced or something. Terrain. Yeah, you need yeah. the terrain for that. I'm gonna move the second one again, right? Yep. You need that. those uh, nice little Alpha Strike battle mats that have the uh, airstrip on oh, them. Oh, yeah, the new <laughs> yeah. Ones. yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been that. Would, that maybe for next time we play test aerospace, we got to use that map. Would that allow? Uh... Put a, put an O on the landing strip. Uh, Oof. <laughs> nice. Just dare like somebody it. to land, right? Yeah. Yeah. Killing me, Smalls. There's four. Is it Mad Dog versus Mad Dog? I know. Did oh, Matt's yeah. aerospace fighter take any damage? I don't I think don't so. I don't think so. No, uh, I think Coach whiffed. He needed nines, I believe, and did not get it. Because I think only his vulture shot at it and need nines with the best. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know. Yeah, the only way you'd want a runway on the map is if it was close to an objective. Otherwise, it's not going to do you any good. I feel like you got to have it like four inches from the objective, and then your guy has to move two inches each turn to get over to it or something. Your pilot. Yeah, Either that or I'm not sure if there's aerospace that could carry um, infantry or anything like that. Right. Yeah. Interesting. So an aerodyne unit requires a minimum of 10 inches to land, four inches if they feature the VSTOL special, and the same runway width needed for takeoff. Hmm. They may attempt Not. to land any terrain, but doing so will result in damage as described in landing damage table. Oh, because it's not like a smooth landing surface. Yeah. Or... Yeah. Interesting. Talking about the uh, landing and taking off just makes me want to do like a uh, a narrative one where you have that okay. map and then you have like a, a so desk team and you got to like infiltrate a building or something. Yeah. yeah, before the aerospace takes off, right? You got to get, yeah. to get there. Yeah, there was a, there's a product, one of the scenarios. Oh, it's not, oh, never mind. That'd make a good, like, kind of theme double scenario with a larger map, get a nice large aerospace where you got to attack the air, you know, the airport or something. Yeah, there was a, yeah. Or if your plane started in the ground and you could only have one plane take off a turn or something as there. Yeah. Uh, Chandler, both fighters are still up, so no one's lost one yet. I think a Dasher died. You'd be happy. Yes. Yes, Dasher did die. Yep. I mean, as long as it's not our Dasher, everyone's happy when a Dasher dies, right? I mean, it is a sigh of relief. I think an angel gets its wings every time a Dasher dies. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sorry, Mario. That's just not oh, good, man. bro. <laughs> that, that's going to be the first uh, Valhalla Club t-shirt right there. Yeah. Every time a Dasher dies, an angel gives a swing. My hex and my aerospace guy are not lined up. You tell me. I'm going for this guy right here. Or a dragonfly. Coach ain't got much thrust uh... to deal with. <laughs> okay, and your guy. Uh, you got rid of a bomb. Coach is staying low. Looks like oh, Matt moved cool. his fighter down yeah. to medium, which is good because he could die um, so bomb. No so, yeah, you got options. No, that's your threshold. Uh, thrust, thrust is six, six, so you are you are at three. Unless that one is low, four, so you can move anywhere it's along a, this line. It Maybe the two is his TMM because he's a fighter. I don't know. This way, and then that's oh, not so two. That's a four inches. Is Coach's fighter down to like one thrust because he still has? I like think two so, of his bombs. He's got all three, all three of his bombs. Yeah, yeah and he's got that, that engine hit. He's down to one thrust. Mm, yep. Which also means he can't move up. That was right. Uh, level either. Oh, that's why he's down at low still. Then okay, he's yeah. only got the one thrust. With oh. Him on you need two yeah, thrusts to change altitude. Uh, Staying it high. I think he. Well, I. 
So when you change between a level, does it cost okay. two, or do you just need to have two and you can do whatever you want? Can I go one inch? Go over one inch and come down. I think that you just have to have it because there really isn't a cost for thrust. Yeah, there's no fuel or anything like that that's really right. Used. Yeah, no measurement of like movement range. You don't have less this thrust just affects yeah. how much side to side you have right. and then ability to change levels. Well, that went faster. Well, that is interesting. <laughs> so we were talking about. Aerospace fighter with IT capability, uh, the Troika, which has an oh, IT of I'm four. Just... So we've got some right infantry right. that can get transported. You have the Dive un... bomb infantry. Oh, yeah, you have the UN two, which is <laughs> one, two, three, four, Confederation five, Magistrate six. Canopus. That's got an IT of four Seven. as well. So, um, yeah. and then that was nine, a, that's a drop two, ship, two, two. and yeah, that's, that's a I was jump. Yeah. I looked at that too. Uh, Actually, so, so is that, is that, a, that. A, a strafing run or a dive bomb there? It's probably gonna so be good. All right, I am hmm. doing a short range strike on this guy. Okay, so he's gonna target one mech. Yep. So that means he's rolling the 13 dice. Oh, unless he's dive bombing, it depends what he's doing. I heard strike. I heard strike. Yeah, he's, he's still at low, still at low elevation. You could dive bomb from low or medium. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, looks like no. He's got he's got 13 dice. Okay. <laughs> Two oh, fistfuls of dice. If he's stuck at low one, you might as well do a strike. Oh, oh goodness. Three, this is gonna four, hurt. Five, six, I got sevens to hit. Sevens to hit. Oh, was sevens dice. to hit on 13 dice. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. yeah. That is. You know, ugh. I feel like I'm playing Phil all over again. Yeah, when you need a shovel to roll your dice, it's not good. Yeah. It's the flying this. annihilator. Thanks, Valhalla. I mean, they'll only Thanks hit, though, if they're Charlie dice. Two. Oh, I know. I know. Valhalla rolled us. There's a miss. There's a lot of misses in there, Coach. Well, there's a lot of hits, uh -oh. though. Half. I mean, I needed seven. <laughs> a lot of misses and a lot of hits. Yeah. Well, there's that, natty. another natty, too. Another natural 12. Uh -oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. seven, eight, nine damage. Oh, good. You only need to do it. Good. Good. <laughs> good. He's toast. Asher's toast. What was it of Matt's that he took out? I can't see Ash. what that one is. Azure. Oh. oh, the ash here. Ash here. Yeah, Asher. 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 Not, no. not sure. <laughs> so, he threw one damage at him. He's three pip tank. Well, at least he's gone. Let's Slight let's go. Slight overkill. Yeah. Uh, right. That you definitely lives up to his. I woke up, I chose violence this morning. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> if I'm going out, I'm taking something with me. Yeah. Yeah, I think he killed the ground underneath it. Too. Four, five, six, seven, it's just a big eight, crater. Yeah, but that is the high mover, right? So that at least takes some of that, you know, back attack for domination points. Then it's a movement. Yeah, and the old point point trade. At least you take take something with it. Yeah, you fired during it. So at two this turn, you'll be at a plus one because you. You gain one for the heat. And, as an engine. Yeah, as an engine hit. So and you fired last turn, so you're at one heat. Oh. It is pretty interesting to have another. Um, it's it's four, it's its own game six, kind of eight, because yeah. Yeah. the terrain does has nothing to do with the aerospace. Uh, yeah. So that miss, it takes it out of that one. kind of part of the game at, at all. And I know they've been they've been one, toying two, with it down in yeah. in the springs, Matt. That you know. You know, Mike and Dave have played around with aerospace a lot, and uh, two, Mike is a big three, fan. One is two. Um, just from the three D battlefield space element, you know. Yeah, yeah, and and it, yeah, I think it does. It relates really well to the lore um, for oh, yeah. some of the books. I mean, you don't get aerospace and everything, but a lot oh. of them are like, you know, the ground pounders are getting milled up by all the aerospace. So. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, it, as Justy was saying earlier, I mean, imagine King of the Hill there, and oh, everyone's clustered in the center, and then you fly over oh, with your bombs and drop them all. <laughs> you you may hurt yourself a little bit. 
Well, and then there's then there's that bomb that does what the six inch template, you know, where you can cover the whole King of the Hill. Four, five sixes. To hit there. Yeah, if you've got three of those and you've got, yeah. you know, a bunch yes. of dashers or something. Damn, uh, one, two, yeah, three damage. Usually, you know, turn one, you're throwing those super uh, fast guys on the King of the Hill, where if you just dive bombed with some of that, you know, six inch area, you could probably take those guys out with a dive bomb drop. Uh, yeah, especially if you're trading it for like Phil was mentioning the cheaper one with that still has three bombs. Yeah, I like the you know thirty or forty points at a skill three with dive bombers, a couple of those. Oh. Yeah, we found with fighters that no one takes dashers. Here got twelve. Yeah, you don't take dashers, and realistically, you don't take anything with four health points because because you get bombed pretty easily then too. So fast mover is really it's it's a lot worse than artillery because it all hit all the bombs hit at once. Thanks, Tom. Yep, I got you guys. Tommy's on, covering guys. the dice coverage. I saw the gold spear 12. I saw the gold we spear We saw 12. it, Tommy. We saw it. <laughs> Three minus one. We saw two. that Charlie company can get an 11. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine for partial cover. Crazy with the way I. It's long. Yeah. Cool. I have two, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, I need one. Damn it! What's his skill? Uh, he's a three, but he stayed still. Oh, right. There you go. Still Shit. missed. What a freaking. So, can you win. use. I'm wondering if you can use thrust to move around the corner of the map, because otherwise you're just stuck going back and forth, right? Well, no, because you have to go at least 24 inches. So, you could go from your edge to one of the neighboring edges if you wanted to. You don't have to go all the way across the map. You just have to. Oh, that's right. It's just wherever you're pointed at, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Chandler called out, and I seen in the thread we're talking about nine. Um, there's no back shots with aerospace. Everything is uh, uh, inferred that it's getting front, so there won't be any additional dice for any rear shots. Except for when it's air combat, you can get a rear, rear. You can there, but anything air to ground is, yeah, front, front facing. Yeah. Damn it. One. Damn it. Damn it. Ouch. Take that falcon out, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, Three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, it's only got two pips left on the fire falcon, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then, then he's only left with two ground units after that. I'm overheat him for yeah, I think, oh, again, I, you know, with domination, you just need a, a certain number of units. You can't just go s s so low with the number of units. So spending so much on one unit, I think, is yeah, that's much. a tough one. That eighty-six point fighter, I think, I think might have hurt him from a ground. Like at least adding one more ground unit and take him kind of like what Matt did, a you know forty some odd point fighter. Yeah. Mm. Although doing nine damage. <laughs> a strafe attack for strike attack. Oof. Yeah, if, I mean, if you're deleting a unit every turn and surviving, then okay, yeah. I can see the return on investment. But you got to take out like three units for your one. Yeah, that's true, right? I got a funny feeling Coach's unit probably won't live past this turn. Not with what it got hit last turn with. Yeah, it's already uh, into structure. Yeah. I mean, an engine hit because it halves your thrust too, I thought. So, yeah, his thrust is pretty low. Yeah. And he didn't drop bombs again. No. Yeah, so he's still at, he's at a one thrust again. I mean, I'll say it again. You always want to dive bomb turn one and get so you can thrust better. And do the most damage uh, turn one. Two. You want that? I think he was just so eager to roll those 13 dice. Three damage. So that's, that's uh, two criticals because you busted a threshold. Yep. 
And I could see, like, I mean, he's there. If, if it was a big unit and you needed and all 13, one, then yeah, go for yeah. it. But if you could just one, do yeah, those just three bombs. Two criticals, right? Yeah. Yeah. Coach, uh, he's down to so, one pip, I think. Six and an eight. Thank you. Six and eight are no critical. No critical. Are you kidding? No. no six, are there six, any critical? Oh, he's got to survive six, his, six, eight, his eight control wow. roll. Yeah. One pip. The old wow. pip in a prayer. No. Oh, if it lives, oh no. <laughs> you got any other units left to shoot fire, at fire, that? Fired. And he's got this guy, right? This guy. Oh yeah, and your med dog. Let's uh, it's eighty-six points. Two of the mad dog at your your instruments as well. You got two flak at medium range. Four, five, six, medium to nine. So this turn is still going to end up two to two because that unit of mats was destroyed there in the middle right mm -hmm. i believe so yeah. yeah yeah the overkill in the middle yep yeah minus two sixes four five six seven eight so it'll be i don't know this could kind of go down to like king of the hill nice. in the middle there <laughs> nice. yeah whoever gets that yeah, third point uh, yeah because it's Six. It's already down past 15. Although, even if they put on some time. Maybe there might not be much left after this turn or next turn. Dodge a bullet. Oh, wow. Matt missed. Uh oh. That Kurt Gates might live. <laughs> yeah, he would be short range because I'm literally flying right over. But non flak non black so same at sixes skill plus two four five six uh oh let's see if he there hits it, it. <laughs> boom nose <laughs> down out 86 points on the ground yeah i still don't think he, he came out even on that exchange no that's a man that's like a oh. skill two oh. daishi really yeah, he threw 13 at that guy. It was a waste of a. Can yeah. I do that? Or. Let's do. Are you going to uh, dive bomb? Or can you dive bomb the uh, Fire Falcon? At medium. Yeah. He's got a. He's, this is his line right here. Oh. So, so he can put two. Let's hit that Kingfisher. Because you have. The dive bomb do extra damage? Well, you're dive bombing a cluster and an inferno. Yep. So the, what yep. You have dive bombing yep. mentioned. Let's do that. That's all. Okay. Um. Ooh, he's going to do both his and plus zero. So it's skill two, plus one for area of effect. And you are at medium. Medium. So that's a Five. plus two. Five. For medium range. Five. Oh boy. Two, three, four fives. Got it. Mm. Both. So he takes one damage and one and. Two heat. And one heat. Takes one damage from the cluster. Right, so. I think it's two heat from the HE. The or the. I take one damage. The from Inferno. That. Two points yes. of heat. Yeah. And. Uh, I think it's one or two heat. Two heat, Tommy. Uh, uh, two points of heat. Mmm. Oof. Work. So I oh, took yeah. one damage, one heat, or two heat. Which is already going to drop his movement and his TMM down. Yeah. And then I believe we're done, correct? Yes. Damn it. Medium damage. Absolutely. Matt, what's your medium damage on your aerospace? That's right, everyone. Nice. Ares games and minis for all the blastic Star crack you need. Uh, Ares. No. You can... Okay, so yes, put his uh, unit. On. Oh yeah, I'll grab mine. Oh, Derek is uh, okay. always Johnny on the spot with the orders and awesome service and communication. Love, 
of sending my business this way. 100%. We put in an order on Monday, and it should should be arriving on Friday, which is wonderful. Yeah, I just got a, a new airbrush, and I just got some uh, some air paints, cleaners, thinners, and all that stuff from him uh, in the mail. Just uh, showed up today, so uh, he to chime. Well, Try that stuff heat. out. Oh. Yeah, I got a notification from from Mary's on Monday that he got the Kellhounds decals back in stock. So place his order. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Initiative. Oh wait, this one. Is it? No. I wonder if uh, if Derek's um like. I got an eight. You know how many orders he has trends with the AS3, the large AS350 is like two weeks beforehand or a week beforehand. Like sure. everyone starts ordering. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Well, let's see what Coach can do here against the many minions of Matt. A prayer, isn't he? That's right. Yeah, Matt's definitely still. He's got the numbers and he's got the fighters still. So this is going to be I real interesting. I mean, did we call it? One, did we call three, it? I think we did, three. didn't we? Yeah. yeah. We're not always right, but when we are, we rub it in. <laughs> Oh, I think Derek is that Derek on the thread on the the chat. Uh, Mr. Uh, Aries himself or no, different that's, Derek? Uh, that's uh, aerospace uh, area. Air, oh, air. okay. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, wait a minute. This I have no idea what Derek you're talking about. Aries, Derek, Derek, my uh, other brother, Derek. Derek. From the, I think what what is the podcast called that he's running? Uh, the Air Academy. Is that it? I think. Yeah, I'm wrong. and well, yeah, it's part of YouTube. Yes. Yes. Is it the war crimes, Derek? No. Yes. Okay. I I don't see the chat. So. Chandler has verified. That's there, Derek. <laughs> Hands off our Derek. <laughs> Aviator <laughs> Academics. There it is. Thank you, Derek. There you go. Yeah, King. That's his last name. Obviously, I forget. Derek King's Aries. Yep. There we go. Good plug for Aviator yeah, Academics. Yeah, if you want to know more yeah. about aerospace fighters and drop ships and all the things that go on in space stuff in Battletech. Okay. Check out their podcast. So can use your attack. So I would be aiming for that fire falcon to get rid of that thing. Correct. Yeah, and I think they're doing it kind of uh, chronologically, which is quite interesting to see kind of the development of the the different yeah. things, uh, the different technologies and and ships and okay. such. Pretty okay. interesting. Yeah. This is not what I expected. Okay. It's not as bad, but 13 dice is uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. <clears throat> Originally, I I put that in my list too, and then it's like, well, he needs the miniature. Like, oh, so I'll switch mine. You're a nice guy. <laughs> you guys are both nice guys. And yep, we are. We are. We're both nice guys. You guys are both nice guys and take units that you have. What the nice. word? Okay, Crafty that's crap. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool down a little bit. So, Goober and Phil, I got to ask you guys: Did you guys listen to any awesome um, podcasts that may have come out on the first of April? Only about four or five of them. For <laughs> Enjoyed. Yep. <laughs> enjoy any. As long as your line covers it. That's fair. That's fair. Like trees help. Sadly, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to listen to anything this week. I just back to in town for a while. I was outside with a client doing work all week. I put about just by seventy hours in as of five o'clock this afternoon. So we're just trying to get caught up this weekend with all the fun stuff that came out. And that was very There's, entertaining. Uh, Can't wait for the new book. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can we. Neither can we. You might be waiting a while. <laughs> oh, and I gotta know what the paint schemes are. Gotta paint up some mechs now. <laughs> oh. 
Some more bird mechs, right? They're definitely going to be bright and colorful parrot based. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Need to find some tiny little feathers to glue them. There you go. <laughs> Last pit, boy. Team, team two can. <laughs> that seems to be more pronounceable than mm. uh, what the actual. T -t -t -t. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> yes. Case in point, the Wolfnet crew and their many pronunciations of rat -a tat tat or whatever you want to call it. I was trying to keep count of how many different styles they could pronounce it in, but um, <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't keep up. <laughs> for any, for any yeah. of you that are watching yeah. tonight and haven't listened to some of the Battletech podcasts out there for the wonderful uh, 1st of uh, April, yeah, well, Bonanza, here, you need to go check it out and have fun. Uh, Don't take it seriously. No. I think it's only a two heat. Oh, okay. It's only three on two. Okay, that's one. No, that's three total. What do you got left? I have two left to move. You have one left to move, which is correct. You know, I was pretty surprised when on one of the Adepticon streams, and, and this is coming from your guys' chatter in the chat there, that one of the, you know, pie in the sky dreams was to have a new version of Aerotech and get it all nice and neat and and wonderful so that aerospace would be big time. I did think, you know, oh, that's interesting that that's at least on their minds. I'll admit I played the original Aerospace version one back in the day it was it was okay i, I think yeah. i prefer a hexless yeah. version it was a hex game around uh -huh. the planet well i think from what i'm already seeing in alpha strike it honestly makes it a you know at least more playable because every time we try to bring it into the classic game it just i mean you talk about classic's already a slow game to begin with but you add you know um you know tanks infantry and then you know something like aerospace to it you know yeah, you got multi-hour turns almost, it feel, felt like. Yeah, I mean, my group has, has loved it. I mean, it prevents people from sitting back, lobbing artillery and stuff yeah. like that, because you just send a couple of fighters with bombs and take them out. So. Yeah. That's all my ground units moved. Three minutes. Do we have anyone on the middle? <laughs> I mean, there are not many mechs left on the board. No. I think that one tank made it to the middle, but then it got um, pile drive driven into the ground. Yeah, I don't think anything has gone on there this turn, so maybe Matt's just going for the you MOV. Now... Did he take any damage last turn? I don't think he did. No. Uh, he's got one one pip. He's got, he's got one damage. Yeah. Uh, so he can there. move his full six inches now, since you don't have any more bombs. Oh, but I can't end up there, can I? As long as you traverse twenty four inches. What do you mean? Oh, check. Gotcha. That's an option, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he can start going horizontally across the board oh, yeah. versus the long ways. He, can start he wants to. Start, uh... Yeah, as long as it's 24 inches, it's kind of up to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now remember, you're not going to be able to go up or down. So you'll be at uh, middle height, middle altitude. And I have to be at low to strafe. You have to be at low to strafe. So two inches per elevation. Uh, yeah, and you got to look to see where your opponent put his fighter at the last strafe. turn and not try and give him an easy strafing target. Yeah. yeah. Strafe. Uh, plus in your A, for example, strafe will hit your guys. Actually, you can you strike, strike from any distance. Yeah, he I, just wants to strike. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to strafe. Well, I mean, hiding behind buildings <laughs> isn't going to help because you could dive bomb them. Low. Yeah, you always have you line of sight. Yeah. Strike. Actually, you can strike at any. I mean, actually, yeah. the new piece yeah. of terrain with the bridge. Maybe if you hit under the bridge, you couldn't be bombed. But that might low. be the only place you couldn't yeah. be bombed. And then you have to. 
But I mean, I guess you just drop the template right next to the, oh, and then you get hit. Okay. Yeah, the bond, the template would be big enough to stretch underneath it, right? Yeah. Okay. Intent. You get to shoot first this time. We're gonna go right there. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say um, not that, Derek. Uh, that is sad that no one out in Oklahoma wants to play striking is, aerospace uh, with you. Depending on what your altitude is. Sure. So. Yep. I'd send You're my brother to play with you because he lives out there in Oklahoma City, but. He doesn't heat. like aerospace either. Yes. Uh, heat Same. does affect you. Does not affect aerospace. It just does damage. I'll just throw no. four. It, it, oh, he does have a heat scale. I'll just throw four at you. Aerospace does. Yeah, have but heat. he didn't take an engine or anything. No. So, yeah, does heat affect aerospace like it does tanks? Or no? I think heat oh, affects no. heat affects shooting. Shooting. Okay, so I'll just throw four dice at that fire saucer. Okay. So, skill two, low range. Which should be zero. My TMM. Six. And a plus one for strike. Seven. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh -oh. Got one. You got one. Oh, he lives. It was interesting. They were mentioning uh, how heat interacted with the aerospace unit. I'm not seeing exactly where that is, but they're just saying it does. It only affects the sh the firing. Yeah, I don't know if it reduces move. Yeah, but they do have a heat scale. Yeah, you're right. Take a look at that. Hmm. If I don't think it affects movement, but I mean, you could shut down. Do you crash if you shut down? Yeah. I mean, or, the funniest yes. thing we ever saw was a yes. aerospace <laughs> getting hit by a T-SEM. Yeah, yes! yes. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Glorious. Oh, it looks like if it's shut down, it may attempt close. a forced landing instead using landing rules. Really close. But if oh, they're not, gross. if there's no landing, then they just crash, right? Well, you're, I mean, you're not going to be able to take off either, uh, so you're as good as dead. Both will overheat for six on your... Yeah. I mean, I, I guess so for calculate MOV, are you dead or oh. not? Yeah. Oh, it says, yeah, which order which shuts down from excess heat will fall one altitude as described above from aerospace damage. This fall will continue until aerospace regains its thrust, restarts from shutdown or crashes. Four. Ooh. Fire control is plus two. Interesting. Six. So as long as you're not at low, you'll just go down one elevation and then you'll restart the next turn. Right. That's what it sounds like. If you're at mid and you shut down from heat, yeah, you can at least try and restart next turn. Um, Interesting. You got close. You got close. Had a 10, needed an 11. Yep, stop. Needed an 11. Weaving and dodging. That building probably crumbled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that building took a lot of hits. What's the tankity tank doing? He sees the mad dog. Can't see your yeah, dog. he can see the mad dog. Shoot there for four. One, two. Ooh, I think I get partial cover. What? Judge. I missed yeah, that. Give it to us. I didn't. Coach you lost his fight. You, you can see on. half of them. You gotta see. You gotta see more than two thirds to not have. We call it damage. <laughs> right, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Down oh, no. Trigger. Calm down. Mini down. Ooh, that's long range. Well, you used four, a box. Eight, nine, 10, 11. <laughs> yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> what is this, amateur hour? Right. Dude. Yeah, there's an Addy. <laughs> Damn it. Dude, coach is on a roll. Why not? The dice giveth, Eight. and the dice taketh away. Mm-hmm. 
Can't be taking a weapon hits on him. Bunch of Sally crit misses, coach. Uh, I think that's it. Did this shoot? Yeah, he shot. The Marauder didn't shoot. Marauder didn't shoot. Has... Unless okay. you're going to let it. <clears throat> Why? Well, well, he's got a shot from that, dog. Is it short or medium? Or medium Long or range. Does it have rear? Not in the rear. No. Four, eight, nine, ten. So five. Eleven, twelves. I got twelves. Better than not shooting. <laughs> Minus one. Yeah. Miss no, everything no, you don't shoot. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's still a chance. Five, six. There's always a chance to roll a natty, ten. right, Coach? Mm -hmm. No, that's not true, Tommy. Close. Yeah, close. When I need 12s, I usually roll 12s with my right? dice. Add heat. That's right. An engine hit's really working out for me. All right. Let's Where can you find those Valhalla Club dice, Tommy? Oh, let's do you got to shoot yet? I got to shoot yet. Wonderful Valhalla podcast. <laughs> right, we're gonna go mad That's dog true. To mad dog or action. you can get them at Aries Games and Minis. Oh, I didn't know that. Too much. Yep, they're there. Oh, I didn't know that. Along with some awesome Wolfnet dice as well. Three, seven, See, I didn't know eight, that either. Nines. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely long range, isn't it? I rather uh, yeah. I rather make trades. Three trades are good too. Seven, okay. eight, nine. Kaz uh, blames me for taking his good dice. Really? Nope, I got two eights. <laughs> he was on a roll with his really good dice, and I traded. My coaching Oh crap! I traded that sucks. Uh, uh, Charlie Company dice. Hey, boy, both both my sets, my green and my orange set. Uh, a dice tray. And the hell off my what else did I trade? <laughs> I traded four. more for his hot of Valhalla dice. I got fives to hit the Marauder. That's not hot. When I hey, say hot, Tommy, coach is shooting hot. Matt now, right? What? Uh, coach is shooting Matt now, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes. He's probably yelling at me now. King Fisher. <laughs> I'm not talking about your game anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about the game? <laughs> yeah, they're talking about the game. They, they just... He's not going to shoot anything. He's not going to shoot time. anything. <laughs> Which one do I take off the board? You better take out tanks. The tanks are These are fine. actually pretty good, Burns. They should be. I'm not tasting any pepper or anything. All right, I got... Uh, tobacco smoker. What? Get your smoke pipe tobacco. That's because I smoke pipe tobacco. Uh, four, five parts five. cover. Yes. One. Uh, Dom two, from the chat uh, mentioning the Dallas Fort the Worth area needing more people. Five, uh, I know that I, Catalyst is going down for Chupacabracon, I believe. I don't know if that's anywhere Six nearby. Weapon. So, but if you're going there, have fun. Yeah, one pip left. That is all. Hey, Tommy, of you want to put up Matt's max? Max sheets. What? I got Matt. So heat. Matt, okay. He's gonna get rid of his heat. Oh yeah, sorry. I uh, I just yeah. like shoot. Not I didn't shoot in the uh, normal stuff. Yeah, I like shooting oh, around. Oh, see that bad boy. Good job, coach. You held steadfast. <laughs> yeah, Goober. Stop. There, uh, Matt. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I guess dice. they're doing another you turn. Borrowed your good dice to him. I think Brought Coach said they're going to try and play it out. I don't know if they're going to go one more then. Yeah. Do I still have to move? Yep. Two. Okay. So <laughs> Matt's <laughs> units are up on the screen, but right. we can't see them. So right they're up now, on YouTube, uh, but we can't see them here. The last round, right? It's past time. We can make it. We can make it the last round. Make it the last round. It's past time, but we have. Used a lot of uh, book time. Yeah, we used some book time. Yeah. Oh, so, 
We'll we'll make this the last round. Uh, Barons, make sure you put your uh, unit that you use for your aerospace on the other oh, side. Oh, he comes over. Yeah, he's over here. Good call. And he's gonna end up right here. Yep. I gotta get you some extra pace. I don't know, guys. Turns out like that. Well, Ben has watching this okay. made you want to play aerospace here. Move one, you're gonna move another one. Or at least buy some aerospace. Yeah, I mean, we get another one with a Kickstarter <laughs> in a couple months. So that'll be number two of the official ones that I have. I, uh... I think I've got about six or seven different fighters now. I don't have. I have. Uh, I purchased a bunch of the little mini fighters that come. Well, I put them as pairs on the hexes. Uh, so I have a bunch of those. But other than that, I just have the two. Well, I will have the, the two plastic ones that they've come out recently. The the Shalom that I, I think I doubled have, up uh... on the Kickstarter and got two of the old from the Clan Invasion Kickstarter and two of the new ones. Nice. And I got an old. Corsair and an old Sholagar. Shadow Hunter, yeah, when a fighter leaves the map, it could come on close to where it exited based on its thrust rating. Yeah, it can go its thrust rating either to the left or right of where it exited, right? Yeah. Uh, minus many bombs that still, you know, so adjusted thrust. Uh, yeah, and if you've taken damage. Yeah, yep, any crits and whatnot. Oh, two more, one more. Nope. Yeah, I think watching this play definitely has got me re keen to try aerospace, even in, you know, even if it's not Alpha Strike 350, but like team Alpha Strike games and stuff like that. Yeah, because this is definitely playing a heck of a lot easier than, you know, again, aerospace and classic. Yeah, it at least makes me want to try it. Yeah, no, I did not. some feel for it. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, I, think I think like one or go ahead, one or two is a good limit. Yeah. Yeah, definitely right. Keep it limited, oh, where it's you know it can have an impact, but not overpowered. At least not too massive, anyway. That dog might have been not living. Yeah, Shadow Hunter. Yeah, just that many well, inches left or right. Two heat, two you know, fire control, and he's good. Bill, when you guys have played it, uh, okay. have you ended up doing much air to air much, or does it usually just kind of resolve to it's air to ground and ground to air? Uh, it depends. Some people like using their fighters turn one to intercept the opponent's enemy, um, because I think if you do air to air, you can't then drop bombs or anything like that. So if you get involved in a dogfight, that's your turn. I thought. Yeah, I think you get one attack. Style, right? Either air to air or one version of ground, air to ground, right? Yeah, and I think it's air to easy. air is the easiest way to shoot it down over flat. But whichever it is, you, because the point, because the altitude gives such a modifier to shoot, you really need skill two or three pilots doing the shooting, whether they're uh, ground people with flak or other aerospace fighters. So it sounds like from the the comments that there's uh, quite a few people uh, perusing some aerospace units. Uh, what's your favorite one, Phil? Let's see. Well, model wise, I like the Turk. That's one of my favorite ones. Okay. Just the way it looks, and the Jagatai also. So I have both of those in my Sea Fox. Um, those are kind of my favorites. Uh, pr pretty much everything with bomb three, I think. For, for me, bombs are much more important than strafing. So I, I, I tend to go through things with a bomb three now. Oh, I'm not sure these do, but the Turk and the Jagatai are definitely my favorite looking ah, models. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't, uh, since I've never really played with them, but the ones that I, I have remembered and, and <laughs> can remember the looks of are the Corsair and the Chippewa. Those are the only two that I, I really remember well. I mean, I've got the standard Stingray, too. I like the way that looks. Mm. That's an old classic. I was told I've got the Reaver. That's old. That's an ugly model. What about the Batu, <laughs> Batu Prime? Note to self, do not purchase. <laughs> what about the Batu Prime? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. For a moment. You know, that's a, what, a lighter medium fighter? Right, Tommy? Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, 
the uh, vehicle man was the one that was telling me about that one. Yeah. I've got a couple of the old, old models of the Samurai. That was always kind of a fun lighter or a kind of mid, mid-sized fighter I like running. Um, but I've got some of the, you know, like say the all, a lot of the old lead stuff from back in the day. Do you have to wear gloves with that? No, you, it, you're encouraged to eat pretzels and lots of finger food okay. uh, on those unpainted minis. I hear that's good for you. Uh, I turned out fine. I just want to make sure that you're you're safe uh, with those lead minis. <laughs> there, there's a guy that was playing um with one of them, and, and he was messing around. He goes, do I have to worry about that? I said, no, as long as there's paint on it, it you're, uh-huh. you're just fine. Don't worry about anything. <laughs> So it looks like from the chat, some some favorites some from some people. The Stuka, which is like yeah. I think an assault, like yeah, it's like a, a great ninety tonner. Ton. Right? I think hundred ton. Yeah, yeah, hundred tonner. Uh, Chippewa, yeah, that one's got the big tail fin, I believe. The Reaver, um, and the Rusalka and Striga. Ooh, Striga, that's a wobby. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I were starting over, and if I or if I'm gonna buy more aerospace, I'd start looking at cheap fighters, cheap fighters that had bomb three. That's what seems to be the most useful I have found in the past. So I could field like two bomb three planes for the lowest cost. That bad boy. I just know that they're gonna die turn one or turn two. Yeah, but if you're making up the points and what you get back, you know, yeah. against the enemy, then. Better than an artillery shot, I guess. Yeah, right. right. All right, Phil. So, what what type of um, uh, rounds would you use mostly with bombs? What bombs? Uh, you I use? like the HE. I mean, just the standard HE because I found dive bombing to be the most effective. So you just drop three bombs on a turn, and that's basically six points of damage on a mech or two mechs close together. Oh yeah. And I would try and skill them to skill two or three. Because, I mean, yeah, I mean, earlier I saw Matt had that Fire Falcon. I would have dive bombed yeah, that turn one. Honestly, you would be looking at Jesus. Yeah. Phil just says he would use bomb three with uh, dive bomb. Or, yeah, you said dive bomb, right? Yeah. With three HE right away. High explosive would do six points of damage? Yeah. And he will find like Ooh, there's two that. mechs next to each other. So you would. Oh man. And on the board? Then I said Jesus. Yeah, it's you, like you put the model on the board. Anywhere yeah. along the line if you want. Yeah, there's that uh, mech buster of bomb two for 19 oh, points. Man, huh? Oof. That's Is that one of those deal. conventional ones? Yeah, right. it's like the real old uh, school. Fire first. Like AC twenty in the nose, and that's it, and some bombs. <laughs> I mean, all yeah, they have to do cool. is survive turn one and drop their to turn one and drop their bombs, which isn't hard. Okay. Yeah. What oh. you do? What happened on the list? I don't know what you do. What? Uh... There it is. Four. Oh, I am no longer. Eight. Where are those ships go? Yeah, I Jimmy, I agree. I like the Samurai. I'm a, that's my old school go to. Who are you firing at? Good looking. Fire Falcon. Tens. Hachiman, Fire Falcon. Miss. Ooh, I needed that one. That Fire Falcon is like. His paint. Stranger, yeah, no nukes. Strikes. No nukes in Alpha Strike. Not Fire unless you're playing a coach special game. <laughs> yeah, get those things out of here. Don't the Wobbies get them? <laughs> Derek says he likes the Huskarl Omni Fighter. One or two? Yeah, there's some mean clan Omni Fighters out there. I will say that. Yeah. Uh, Jose, they're just testing aerospace out with a 350 mission tonight. As far as if they're thinking about adding it in, Tommy, maybe you're more slightly more qualified to answer on that one. Oh. We're just testing it out, seeing if it's viable. Uh, Q will not have to worry about it for Gen Con. Uh, so if that's your worry, don't worry about that. Um, we have 
Trust me, you will have to do at least well, six more months of testing dog. before if you're bringing it in or not. To the bad dog. So, I mean, maybe aerospace would work better for doubles yeah. or for Epic or something like that, but there's more yeah. stuff on the table. That could be. Um, yeah, that's more anyway. time uh, uh, on the clock. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelves. Oh. Matt's dice have gone cold. He needed 12s to hit. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> How about you take your uh, ghost bear ones back? No. I'm just fine over here. <laughs> just fine. I'm kind of amazed the fire falcon's still alive there. Anyway. He's got too many of them. Yeah, that's that pip and her prayer plan, right? Yeah. Uh. Good one. Thanks, Matt. Four, the Uber good five, one. Five, six, seven, eight. I just doesn't want to hold broken hands. Natty. The old Natty. On the vulture. Mad dog. Mad dog. How many? Did That's you hit? twice now. You hit him for one damage, and it's been a Natty. Eleven. Eleven. Ooh, Eight. close. I think it's an engine. Isn't it? Welcome to the club. Welcome That'd be an engine hit. Fired. Ooh, some quarter. Fired. Fired. Did your mad dog fire? Ma Marauder two seed. Now I don't care if you mark armor to the from the right to the left or the left to the right, but if you're skipping pips, this is craziness. <laughs> yeah, that vulture. Yes. So you had. I think Tommy's just doing that out of spite. Here. <laughs> okay. I know if Diablo was on, he'd be having yeah. kittens right now. Oh, oh man, he'd be flipping his lid. <laughs> he can only watch the replay. <laughs> I'm not on for one show, and he's already screwing it up. <laughs> hey, that's what happens when there's no adult supervision, man. Yeah, he chose his anniversary. Silly kid. <laughs> He's got a weapon, there, right? Yeah. So he's on the floor for the game. Hmm. Eleven's there. Eleven's the mad dog. I swear if it's another freaking natty. Ooh. It is a natty. That's all you do. You roll. You Same roll dice one too. Because I have to roll. Yeah. It's a natural. Test them, yellow Six die. Another weapon hit. Now, there is a, has been quite a few twelves tonight. Coach is rolling hot twelves early on. Yeah. Uh, is that short range? Four. It will be at short range. Yep. Tommy's straight up messing. Three. three. Not yet. Oh, well, this is the last turn. Okay. <laughs> right. This is the last, last turn. Yeah. Good point. Over so it's going to come down to MOV because it's just going to be two to two. Yeah, looks like it. That expensive fighter should cut or something. Five, six, plus one for strike. Six. six yeah, six. taking out almost 100 points, really. One miss, two misses. So five hits. Damn it. Oof. He gone. Ouch. That hurts in a game of MOV. All right. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One person. I had to go refill. Uh, <laughs> okay, the last turn. Three, three. Last turn. And Coach is going to end up with just his, what, his Kingfisher left? Kingfisher yeah. and Fire, fire, yeah, fire Falcon. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One pip on the fire. fire Falcon. And oh, coach is firing on Matt. Four is to hit. One hit. Four is to hit. Ooh, don't forget that guy. 
Yeah, I think Coach is going to have to get some miracle shots here. I don't even know if that'll get him enough points. It'd be interesting to hear why Matt didn't go for the middle objective there. Seven, eight, four, five, six, so four. Medium range, five, six. Seven and an I'm almost surprised seven. Coach didn't run the Kingfisher onto it, you know, because he was just behind the building. Because that would they would have had to do some work to get through the Kingfisher. Daddy, yeah, it's like everyone's go. kind of in the old West, you know, standoff, and no one actually yeah. goes for the objective token. And yeah, then, everybody got double dogged, but nobody bit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It. Let's try some flacky at your aerospace. Good luck. Weapon hit, so that reduces it down to two. He's got a skill. And that three. aerospace had already used all of its bombs, right? So that yeah. wouldn't be really an right. inhibitor. Three, you're at low, so that's short range. Yeah, he dropped the last two, I think, last turn. Three, four, five. The king because you're in aerospace. Mm -hmm. So I need threes with the flak. Takes two damage. Oh, no. You know, I'll just throw this out just because I like throwing, you know, gasoline and on a fire. Um, because you took damage, you have to make a control. I think the way this is planned, it <laughs> almost would be interesting to have uh, just an, like an Alpha Strike like aerospace event. Have to do good. Yeah. Better. You know, yeah. just, just it aerospace would just be on air aerospace. versus air. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, like that. Did you just roll a four? That might be interesting. <laughs> Did you just roll a four? Did <laughs> you roll a four? <laughs> When Coach says pop and blood back, Coach says pop and blood back. Oh, man, because you were at low, you would have burned, crashed, and burned. I mean, I'm definitely in for trying a lot of things once, uh, so. Okay. Yeah, it might be if there's this enough interest, maybe as a side event point. on a separate day or something, if somebody wants to let, let oh, guys, you know, just toy around yep. with it. Well, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. uh, maybe we'll do something like that at LVO. We'll see. Yeah. Hey, life's littered with bad ideas. <laughs> Had worse, sure. that's for sure. <laughs> I'd be up for aerospace at LVO in some event or another. Yeah, I mean, we'll do that uh, not, like an evening event or uh, Sunday morning. Yeah, something quick and easy. Fire Falcon, you dodging. I'm not driving. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, I think it's Charles's turn, right? It, anything quick and easy on a Sunday morning is never quick, never easy, <laughs> <laughs> especially in Vegas. Yeah, we yeah, never get out on time. So who ended up with the win there? Was that Matt? It's all silent now. Yeah. Tommy, tell us what happened. Hello, coach. Put the dice. Gentlemen. Put the dice tray. Oh, oh. I, want, uh, I at least put some of my stuff in. You got to tell us who uh, pulled out the win. We didn't we didn't uh, uh, I, catch who had the most. I did pull out the win because the Fire Falcon survived. And um, I contested the back edge. Oh, so to get rid of his we didn't team. catch that. Did okay. That. So I'm going to show this guy off here right away. Hey. This is I like it. the beautifully handcrafted um, leather dice tray. It looks so familiar. <laughs> oh, Diablo's not on here. What are we doing here? Post game. Yeah, come on, man. Get out of Get here. Get your act Diablo. together. Get out of here. Well, congratulations, Coach. You proved us all wrong. Oh, really? Was we I, all we uh, all had our money on bloodbath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so bloodbath was the uh, was the favorite, huh? I yeah yeah. I most likely would have taken him as well. 
Um, yeah, what do you think about putting all those points into your aerospace? There? That was kind of the, the kicker for a few of us. Yeah, um, an 86. I, hey, at least he, he went down from 100. I did have a skill two Kyrgyz there. Um, <laughs> that would have been a lot. And you started uh, thinking, how am I going to get oats? Yeah, the, <laughs> let's just say the, the 250 points didn't really work out with that. So um, hold on, I got to swing this bad boy around here. Uh, that way you guys can hear me better because this is where the microphone is. How about that? There, that should sound uh, a little better. Sounds good. Um, so, Coach, did you end up dropping your bombs at all? I did. Or did you just strafe? I, I strafed and striked twice. Yeah. Did I strafe twice? Did he survive I three rounds? I think you striked. No, I think you only had two. You, you struck you the second two. turn because you I, rolled yep. your 13. You're turns. right. You're right. I, I strafed the first time and struck the striked the second time. And then he went bye-bye. <laughs> um, that had a lot of flack. And that definitely caught up to me. Um, but I got... I got the two rounds that I wanted out of him. I did some pretty good damage to his Marauder 2C and uh, Vulture that I needed to get. Um, and then the strike, which, you know, I I did not pay attention to the card and I should have looked at that, uh, that hovercraft that tried to take the middle. It only had two armor and one structure, and I threw 13 dice at it. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> so, so that was probably a waste of my uh, resources there. But um, I think, yeah, it, this game came down to just literally my Fire Falcon couldn't take that last damage. It it, it was it was rough. Um, Some cold dice on Matt's side, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, he that's also a mistake. I mean, I've, I've played a lot of aerospace and I mean, turn one, you want to dive bomb, drop all your bombs and I would have aimed for that fire Falcon turn one. Yeah. Um, Cause you took out the dasher with the aerospace right away. Didn't no, you didn't. You actually shot at him direct with damage. the, yeah, direct damage. Um, yeah. As you can see here on the, on the bottom um, that I, that was my, uh, that's how I won basically is, is that Fire Falcon was base to base with his tank on his side. And then uh, because I contested it, he lost the, the, the point. Um, yeah. We had a lot of book time. I mean, I know, I know that we, we basically said, we're just gonna go until we think that the game has run to its conclusion. Um, I, at the end there, I was basically just trying to go for MOV, and uh, <laughs> that was that was I think my only saving grace there was to try to get MOV there, and uh, yeah, the Fire Falcon because I did not think the Fire Falcon was going to live. Um, Neither did we. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I I don't even think if the Fire Falcon went down and even as Marauder 2C and Vulture went down, I don't think I would have won on it would have been close, but I don't think I would have won on MLB. Well, especially since you killed my Vulture. But you needed the aerospace to do that. So it would have been up in the air kind of a thing. But uh as for aerospace, I think <laughs> it's it's a lot to take in. Like I just Reread the whole thing. You don't apparently use thrust to go up and down uh, level. At least I couldn't find it. I, I thought I swore I read that, but apparently you don't. You can just enter the map at whatever level you want. You just can't go two levels high, which I think I I kind of like that you'd have to use thrust to go up or down. Or maybe not down, but up at least. But um, they're definitely powerful. They're very, very powerful. Uh, we just we just wanted to try it tonight, and see see what what it's like. Um, I know there was some mentions of we need new aerospace rules, and I was like, I have never played aerospace, so I can't I can't you know judge. 
You're not gonna hit that, are you? <laughs> I know the the kind of the because that's gonna be back loud. and forth is that aerospace is really powerful, but they're also somewhat fragile. Did you find that? How did you feel? Like were they actually that fragile? Oh, to... yeah. Uh, he busted my threshold twice in one turn. So anytime your threshold is broken, you have to roll for a critical. And so anytime the threshold is just amount of damage, right? Over right. Amount of damage from over. one source. So you can't, right, right. you know, it, it, and his, uh, I think your Marauder 2C did four damage and five. then the Mad Dog did three and then the Hachiman or somebody also did another two, but that was enough to go internal. So I think I took three criticals in one turn. Um, oh. The control rolls aren't, they're scary, but they're not as scary as I thought they were. Um, yeah, it's, it's just skill, right? For skill, those, but yeah. It's skill plus two because we're in atmosphere. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a, you know, if you're rolling a, a up up with a skill four aerospace fighter and all of a sudden you got to roll sixes if you took any damage at all, then it's scary. Because mm. then you either... You lose, but you just drop. You just drop an elevation, yep. right? You just drop an elevation. So if you, yeah, if you're not at low, then it's still not the worst thing. Right. I mean, technically, okay. if I remember correctly, you can either lose an elevation or make a control roll. So if mm -hmm. you're at low, you have to make the control roll. Uh, if you're high or middle, you can just be like, "Well, I'll just drop down." So. I don't know. I think there's some tweaking that that can that could, you know, curb them a little bit. But the damage output is just ridiculous. Like rolling 13 damage. Yeah, 13's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Now, granted, he had the game, and and I chucked. I mean, I I counted it out. I could, if I hit with everything, I could take that Marauder two C out in one turn. But again. You know the roll of the dice. That's not always going to work. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, there's been some discussion on whether it's do you take cheap aerospace fighters with bombs? Do you take you know the Kyrgyz that's 86 points of skill three and wipe something off the board? Um, Matt had a lot of flack, so that really sucked. But at the same time, I got two turns out of it, and maybe that's. You know, is that what you're looking to get? Two turns out of your aerospace? I don't know. I think I don't think your aerospace is going to last much longer than that. No, I two, two three good. two to three turns. If you get three turns out of it, I mean, I wasn't even shooting at Matt's aerospace at the end. I just had to get rid of other MOV that was easier for me to hit. So um, it was fun game. You think it would still? It would still because it definitely like even with just the rules reading, but even if it, you already knew all the rules and everything would add a lot more time. And so that would kind of go against the whole AS350, like we want this to to finish in a, in a really quick time. Yeah, it, it adds time. It really does because you're lining your lineup, you're finagling this and you're doing that. Um, yeah, it, it and then you're dropping bombs, and then you're trying to decide if you're going to altitude or dive or strike or strafe or whatever. I, I think it's going to add too much time. I think on a on a higher level of understanding, people will do it. But yeah, I mean, maybe maybe it's just a, a learning curve kind of a thing. But uh, who knows? I mean, maybe down the road, uh, I know. I know there's a couple of things that you can do to just make, make it easier. Um, I know that the whole adding, you know, the vectors, right? You're, you're measuring over to the line and then you're measuring up and then that's what you get, that's what you get for your ground air. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd, More math. It's just like everything, you know, if, if you're good at it, you're gonna go really fast, but also Alpha Strike 350 is kind of you know, we want new players to join. We want new players to get involved. And I don't know if a lot of people would understand the alpha. I've read it 10 times and I'm still missing stuff when we're going back to the book. It's just. <laughs> well, it was, it was suggested that maybe you use this in like the doubles or the epic. And that's sure. kind of like the next step sure. up, right? That that 100% would be 
a good fit for Alpha Strike 3 I, for aerospace. I, I think battlefield support might be the best way to go in 350. You know, the just here's my card. One time use. I'm 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 dropping a bomb here, or I'm striking this target. You lay the card down. You roll the eight or the seven, and you're and you're done with it. You know, um, kind of like how we do artillery now. You just get yeah, that one time yeah. use card, right? Yep. I, it's a bummer because you don't really put a model. I mean, there's so many good aerospace models out there. You don't really use a model for it. I mean, I guess if you wanted to put it in your your parade of armies, you could do that. Um, yeah. yeah, I did that with the artillery cards. I brought some sniper yeah. units and marksmen. Yeah, yeah, I did for color. But uh, it was fun. I'm glad I did it. Um, I've never played out uh, aerospace, and it was fun. I can definitely see epic or doubles. I can I can 100% see that. Um, I wouldn't go more than two aerospace units, you know, per player. You can get you can get real crazy once you start opening up the up the field to more than just two. Um, but no, I I think there's a, a few a, a place for it. I just don't know if 350 is it. Um, like I said, we're going to play a couple more games and and maybe reread the rules and stuff like that. Um, I just I just yeah, feel I'll see you guys. I feel the I'll alpha. see you guys try King of the Hill with aerospace. Oh, King of the Hill with aerospace. Oh. But that's one of those, yeah, yeah, that's one of those where <coughs> you're going to get one round out of your aerospace because everyone's going to gun, all the guns are going to be in the air. Or even like a bunkers with aerospace to see what that does for the, that'd be interesting. Bunkers too. aerospace would be a, would be a very quick and easy alternative to the infantry. You yeah. know, can you angle in? Maybe some bomb runs. And get yeah. your, well, the bombs don't have any effect, but you can line of sight that door. On the infantry. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And you oh, can, yeah, you can do, I mean, Mike Kirgis could have done 13 damage to a bunker door in one turn. Yeah, almost get a, get a point right away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you could scale them up because it's, uh, it's easy to hit, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. You can, you, can throw your, you can put them at skill fives. Because you're getting a yeah. minus four for the building, so. Yep. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. There's there's. Yeah, change the way a few things play for there's, sure. There's a lot of things in there, so. We will see, Matt. You uh, got anything you want to add? Do you, have any questions? do you have any questions for Matt? I bet you do. What did he think of aerospace? Yeah. Of course. Right? So they do have a question for you. Uh, <laughs> at what point did you lose? <laughs> it's a damn fire falcon. <laughs> I mean, I will say we had some good interest. I think at one point I saw what, over 27 people. Yeah, we had up watching. to 30. Over 30. Yeah. The good game, Matt. Yeah, What'd nice. you think of aerospace? It is pretty easy for aerospace to hit stuff. <laughs> and it's relatively easy to knock it down with flak. It's not bad. But, um, yeah, with bunkers, I think that would be too easy to win bunkers in three turns with two aerospace. Um, what do you think about the time that it might add to, to 350? Like Coach was mentioning, he thinks yeah, it might, might add too much. Way too long. Your 350. You're going to have every single one in any other scenario. scenario. Really good at it. Um, can you verify the heights and the distances? You're calculating twice as much. Yeah, it's going to eat up a lot of time. Would I have done better by not taking aerospace and just relying on flak and vehicles and mechs? Yes. So. Yeah, your flak was pretty pretty good against his aerospace fighter. And if I wouldn't have had my aerospace fighter, I could have added two more units with flak. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll invest much more in aerospace. Um, unless it's probably epic. 
because then you have larger areas, more objectives. We kind of debated too, because what list were we going to run? And we had both chosen pretty much the same top dog, maximum damage aerospace unit. And he issued his uh, list first, and then it was just like, okay, fine. <clears throat> I'll bring my Kyrgyz for him. <laughs> and I'll choose a lesser. <laughs> um, it, it just about crippled two of my units right off the bat first, first turn. So that's a yeah. bit, that's a bit much. That's, that's not going to be enjoyable for a new player or a player that <clears throat> isn't going to counter that with either the same thing or devoting all the, all the more PV to flack yeah, to counter it. To the tape. Aaron, so so that's true. Well, does it tip the scale? Yes. Um, is it, is it able to be countered? Yes. But to what degree where it's fun, not fun? Yeah, that's kind of my, my difficulty with it is, in a way, it's kind of like a kamikaze unit, right? It's like, I'm coming in here to put damage on you. I don't really care about this unit. I don't care if it, I'm planning on it not surviving. In a way, it's kind of like the dasher. I'm glad I took vehicles. Because <clears throat> that's a lot of fun. And they have their own benefits of lower profile. Um, my Achilles heel tonight was not sprinting the Hatchy Man to the center objective at the last turn, which it could have done. But. Mm. Although I was hitting with probably. 30% hit rates, but all the fire controls and engine hits that I took was a deciding factor, so a lot of things against you, so. Yeah, you had some cold dice even on your, like, your six and seven <clears throat> rolls. Well, and then yeah, trying to have end. to achieve uh, 11s and 12s the last two turns with um, excessive heat because of engines, fire control, which added up a lot. Yeah. Um, could I have? Could I have won with like fifty percent hit rates? I think so. Um, so there were there were two variables that really cost me the game. Um, but yeah, first turn taking. Breaking through armor on two of my units, that was pretty huge. I think you learn also that when you're facing aerospace that you have to spread stuff out in a certain way so that you can't get hit by the same strafe or the same bomb. True. So then one type of unit dictates even more of your strategy for um, end of movement distance. Um yeah, place just like with artillery or any of that kind yeah. of any of But it's worse because you gotta worry about the strafing as well. Well, and so does he if he has any units that are close in that line too. Yeah. So the, that's where we definitely learned that the strike is better than the strafe if you have friendly units in line. Would I play it again? Absolutely. Um, everybody loves to uh, have a bird in the air. Um, hey, I love would, I, would, in the would I have new players try this starting out? No. Um, unless they really want to. Yeah, it wouldn't be like an Alpha Strike 101. This would definitely be like a 201 or a 301 class, right? It would definitely right be uh, intermediate to uh, veteran player. Doubles. And yeah. it is expensive, too, to try and achieve a lot of that stuff. Um, am I going to continue to put aerospace in my list? Probably not. Um, not if I can counter with flak. 
But then I mean, again, from, from my experience, I've used aerospace in a lot of games. I'd take a cheap bomb three plane and just aim for something like his Fire Falcon and just drop six points of bombs on it and not worry about its TMM and kill it turn one. And then anything else would be a bonus. Sure. Sure. If that's the only target, but if you got multiple fast units, then you're picking and choosing. Sometimes yeah. you don't have the, the luxury of um, having the stars line up like that. So, lessons learned. Uh, glad we did this. And uh, definitely hope to uh, continue testing and find out more sustains and improves. What'd you guys notice? I think the big... It's the big thing I, I did is like, you know, from what I've been seeing in chat and like even with us guys commenting is, you know, unless you played it back in the day as a try it and then walked away from it, you know, not it, not really anybody's done it. So I think this was like a good like, hey, let, let's see what happens. Let's get Pete, you know, obviously with the attendance interest has peaked, it makes it less of a taboo thing. And it's like, hey, yeah, take it for a whirl, see what you guys think. Um, but yeah, I think the big thing is, is it may not make it into competitive anytime soon, but definitely opens up, I think, some of the potential for experience and, you know, themed events, scenario events, themed events, things like that, right? Because it does play a lot better than it did in Classic, I'll tell you that. Well, it's certainly Just from what I saw. Yeah, right? I don't know, what'd you guys think, Ben? Matt? Yeah, I think it fits. I mean, it kind of fits into the whole Alpha Strike. You know, this is quicker. It's somewhat streamlined, uh, even though it is kind of its own little separate phase after everything else. It's still a quick phase instead of it being, you know, in classic. From what I remember, you've got to deal a lot more with thrust and your momentum and things like that, where this is just it's just straight across the board. You pick and choose. You, there's only three elevations or whatnot. Um, if you add in air to air as well, I could see it, you know, that's another thing that could bog it down even more. But if you're, if you kind of just strictly keep it air to ground and ground to air, then I, I, I definitely at least want to try that. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, it's, it's, it was great to see it played and it definitely piques my interest in trying it at least. Yeah. We're like, said before we're, we're definitely going to keep uh keep uh, attempting to baseline what what the system calls for and if we can improve or if if it is going to be only for selected types of games um like you said before time management um my opinion, whether it tips the scales, whether it's appropriate for new, intermediate, veteran players. Um, and 13 dice is a lot. Just like, you know, if your Trakinas throw on a whole bunch of dice too. But there's a lot less limitations. You know, if you have visibility yeah, I... the entire map, that's pretty huge. Yeah, because like with a mech, you got you have to get within the physical six inches. We're here. I just have to pass over you at that low level. So there's a much higher chance to get those short range, high damage shots from aerospace, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's it's like artillery on steroids. So yeah. you know, if we've already decided that artillery is a little bit out of the realm of. Is it going to throw games a little bit faster? Is it going to, are we going to have those, those close games or is it going to be more where people are board wiped? I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. I guess too early to tell, but it's leaning that way. Everybody but lots of fun, um, painting, finding units. Um, it perks the interest. It's, it's, we're curious about it. And it's just, it's fun. Something to do. Uh, 
But they, yeah, definitely with the attendance, it's, you know, it's worth, you know, definitely people are interested in seeing it, probably seeing more of it and see what the trend is for sure. Absolutely. So in the future, I probably won't be putting any of it on my list, but um, for testing, we sure probably will. And we'll, we'll see what lighter, moderate aerospace can do. Um, you just wait with this baseline up. of extremes from one side of the spectrum across or find the middle ground. Good analytics. Appreciate you guys' input and questions, and that's awesome. Yeah, we appreciate you guys being the guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Tom, you got anything? No. Uh, I got, I got another. Coach? Sign out. So, if you gentlemen and ladies and anybody else in the rooms haven't uh, seen our Patreon, Discord, Queensboro Apparel, um, YouTube, subscribe, like. We'll see you guys later on the flip side. Have a great evening. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thanks, everybody. Good night.